right, hello everyone, hello everyone. What's the... Let's get right into the... Someone had something funny. Let's get right into the chew. Yes, let's get right into the chew. Atlas in the house, how you feeling, my friend? Oh, hold on, they can't hear you. You gotta turn your mic on, Atlas, as always. I told you this. I'll turn it on for you this time. Hold on. Let's get your mic in. Okay, now Atlas turned his mic on. What's up, Atlas? How are you feeling? Yeah, sorry. My mic's on now. I, I flubbed it up. You know, first stream and all. We're doing great. We're back in action, and we're here to have some fun today. Going back to 2011, my friends. Can you believe it? 2011 in the house. 2011. What were you doing back in 2011, Atlas? Come on. Give us a, give us some insight. You were born I then. Playing, you had to be. Yeah, yeah. I was born. <laughs> I was actually born the year prior, actually, and uh, I was playing Call of Duty. I was quick scoping with my friends and just hanging out. Hey, meet the sound similar to me. Very similar ages, I think. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> did any have anything happen today worth noting? Because I again, Saturday is my can't watch anything. Couldn't even check Twitter today much. Did anything happen today worth noting, real quick? Uh, I fell asleep. He talked about copyright strikes for 30 minutes, and uh, I, I passed out. Okay. Is that well, bad? <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Nothing miss We're not missing anything tomorrow then? Okay. I don't believe uh, so. Yeah, so I've heard you saw, if you saw on Twitter, no TBS tomorrow. Just couldn't, no, we couldn't make it. None of, none of us could make it, so we said, you know what, we're taking the day off. But I will be on Bingo tomorrow with King Jazz, so big ups to that. So a little well, bit later hi, Bingo. Today, yeah, Bingo will be in the house. I'll be there, so shout out. And I will do a pre-show style, because I have the playlist ready. So I am doing the full four hours to get you hyped with the songs and shit, and then we'll go over to Bingo tomorrow. So you still got some entertainment tomorrow. Don't worry, my friends. But... All that being said, it is time for episode number 13. 13. Oh, excuse me. Not this episode. Get out of here. Last week we did. Got to make sure I get the right episode. We can't. We don't watch the same one twice. <laughs> that I'm leaving would be a the nightmare. studio if we watch the same one twice. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I can't yeah. do it again. Wrong screen cap. Hang on. I'll get you. We're going to episode 14, my friends. What am I doing here? Not episode 13. We watched this jam last week. Hold on. Well, there was some jam involved. Oh, my, oh yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, ask the king. Episode 14. And again, we're we're on the real DSP channel now. So here we go. Ask the king. Okay, check out his original. Oh, let me just go to this here. What am I fucking around with? Let me get the original playlist here. Not this. I'll get just there. Hang on. Playlist. You should all follow this channel, by the way. Derek Loves Kosovo. Uh, this person is is tracking all the stuff. If you're a fan of WPIG, you want to be following this person. They have all kinds of old playlists here. Even, if, for example, the East East Coast Customs playlist is there. All this stuff. You want to get on this channel while it's hot. And here we go. Here's what we want to do. right now. Here we go. Oh, I cheated you of the of the intro. Here we go. Lay up, motherfucker. There you go. Now you got the full experience. <laughs> Very gotta important. have it. What's going on, everyone? DSP here. Welcome to the June 30th, 2011 Ooh, edition. Oh, big, big ups, by the way. Battery exhausted, you're a legend, dude. Battery exhausted with the gift. Massive gift. You're a legend, dude. Of Ask the King. I'm DSP. And uh, hold on one second, because I'm going to start my timer this time, unlike last time where I didn't, and then I had no idea uh, how much time I had. So anyway, <laughs> okay. a couple things I want to open up here with, okay? And the first is... The last time, by the way, just for reference, was 28 days ago. In, in, you know, 2011 years. So, do you think anyone remembered that fact? <laughs> uh, last time I didn't do... As you guys know, I didn't do that. So, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, we watched it a week ago and I don't remember. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think that it might make more sense to uh -oh. do Ask the King once a month Ooh. instead of every two weeks. Because what I'm finding now is the past two months, I've only done one each month because I've been so busy with releases. But because of that, I seem to be getting a lot of really good questions. I think when people have more time to think about what's going on, oh, uh, when God. a longer time period elapses, they need more time to come up with questions. And so that's what we're going with here. Or, uh, Quality over questions. quantity, dude. And come on. I think that's what I'm going to do now. I already made a thread for like the next episode of Ask. They're in the lab getting be their questions ready. <laughs> they got their thinking okay, caps on. They got the know, hand on the chin. Now, yeah. One other thing I want to mention. Um, there has been a very common question. About three or four people asked me about uh -oh, this. What's the common question? There is currently a bill in our government. Uh oh. Okay, it's bill so S fun, Pippa. Nine seventy eight, and this bill has potential to completely shut down 
everything that I'm doing here on YouTube, mm -hmm. any gaming video whatsoever that's ever been put up on the internet, anyone who streams gaming footage, mm -hmm. anyone who records the audio from gaming footage and puts it up on the internet, uh, pretty much anything gaming related that's on the internet right now that's a video will be shut down completely. Again, extremism. Uh, and extremism. Not only that, but the, bill the whole really internet is going to shut down. Uh -huh. Movies and TV. Now that I can and understand. And movies and TV and, and music. Ripping off a movie right. or a TV show and you're completely uploading it to the internet. Yeah, that's that's stealing. But, but. what I do, what any other person who does a playthrough does, people who are streaming live tournament footage, Street Fighter, for example. Yes, mama. No. This is this the whole no, this is the whole. I don't know if you know about the soap and Pippa shit Atlas, but he has. I wasn't alive. Yeah, he obviously uh, fucking he he rode that wave of like yeah it's really bad. He was trying to be like the lead like news dude about it. Sadly, as you might expect, no one gave a shit. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, but uh, that's what he's talking about here. Is this, it's going to be, I don't know exactly what's going on in this case. But anyways, it, I don't know what time we are in the fucking, in the timeline of Soap and Pippa, but whatever, it was nothing. Uh, it, it turned out to be like a scary thing for some people, but Phil rode that fucking wave and he got the views and shit. He tried to be like the leader of the, this movement, but no one gave a shit. Uh, anyways. Big ups to yeah, it's um, a, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh no, I I literally forgot the vocabulary word I was looking for. Uh, you know, it was on my word of the day calendar. So go oh, ahead with the shout okay, out. Cool. Maybe I'll uh, <laughs> I'll forget. Maybe I'll remember. January Rose in the house. Legend. Can we get back to that pic of DSP in the shorts asking for a friend? Also, how cringy is it to wear a shirt with your own face on it? The second part I agree with. The first part I'm just gonna pretend I didn't read. Thank you. <laughs> None of that is theft. We're not stealing anything. Okay? I've seen a gif of DSP yeah. in his shorts today. I he was doing something. But I, uh, <laughs> oh, I wish I, I didn't see that. Know, this is a classic. very serious issue. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm going to make a special video about it right after I finish filming Ask the King today. And that's going to go up on my, my DSP gaming channel. And it's basically going to be the video that's going to be up there almost all weekend uh, oh, while right, I have time man. off this weekend. So um, a lot of people will get to see it. It does require your action. I there's going to be some stuff we're going to talk about, a petition, all kinds of stuff to get this it shut down. It does way too broad, and it's not going to do what they're intending it to do. But I digress. Uh -oh. If you're interested in it right now, obviously you can do research it right now. But I'm going to make a video specifically about it after I finish Ask the King. Okay? Okay. Great. Right, so Glad we're not watching that. The actual episode of Ask the King. Here we go. First yeah, I'm not, question. I'm not field tripping uh, that. It's too boring. If you have a gaming PC, will you be playing <laughs> Battlefield 3 or on console or on question, PC? First question. That's from Carlos. I've already said this, but it's worth reiterating. Um, <laughs> That's his I favorite word. I've already said this. I don't know, know why you're doing it. They're going to be better on PC because they're primarily designed for PC, and I'm going to be playing those on my gaming PC. So, for example, Battlefield I already said this. I'm going to give a shit what you care. Graphics of Battlefield 3 are going to be way better on PC than on console. Uh, uh, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. I'm going to be playing that on PC because it's, a, again, a no-brainer. It's a game that was designed for PC primarily, and so the graphics are going to be better. So those kind of games I will Ooh. be playing primarily on PC. So quick to the P not no PC hate here. That was kind of quick. He was kind of real quick yeah, to say, I, yeah, of course. What do you, what, of course I'm doing PC. What's wrong with you? I didn't expect that out of him, especially when it came to, like, Battlefield 3. I very much expected him to be like, well, I'm going to play it on console because the social features and, you know, do all the, the whole yeah. regular world that he loves to do. PC hate. But apparently PC's cool. We're good. Was, yeah, he was really quick with that. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, oh. Next question. Oh. Hey, Phil. Hey, if you Phil. had a look back at the previous decades, especially the 90s, and had a favorite... Uh, children's cartoon TV stations such as Nickelodeon or Disney. Not even a question. He worded it wrong. Is, <laughs> okay, this, that's okay. great. Uh, I'll tell that. <laughs> Jesus I'm not saying Christ. The cartoons, but just the media in general. I watched one of your Ask the King videos when you had to choose between either Bugs Bunny or Mickey Mouse, and you said <laughs> oh, Bugs Bunny. What a classic a question that was. I don't remember it. Uh, if you were younger, you had a choice between the Fox Kids channel, which was one of the major channels back then, okay. or Disney, and Disney was actually on... The WB, which was Channel 11, had a lot of Disney content back then. I'm sorry, not uh, Channel not 11. WB. I said uh -huh. that wrong. It's Channel 11. It wasn't the WB. It was something else. But they had a lot of Disney style content. Um, Disney you know, style content. Disney style. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Disney content? I watched okay. a lot of stuff. Now you got to go to Disney Plus Disney for Disney style like content. Uh -huh. uh, Tailspin, uh, Darkwing Duck. Uh, oh, all those, those uh, oh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh, I remember yeah. all those used to be Rescue on. Rangers. Either, they were either on. They, usually they were not like Saturday morning cartoons. They were more like afternoon cartoons. You would get home from school and they would be on TV. There'd be like a two-hour block. Ooh, and two I used block. to watch those all the time. But 
On the flip side of that, I also watched everything that was on the Fox Kids Network, like X-Men, Spider-Man, um, oh. the Power Rangers, even though it's not a cartoon. Yeah, it was kind of the same thing. I watched <laughs> that a little Rangers. bit. That was kind of like when I was getting older, when the Power Rangers came out, and I was like, this is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I used to watch a lot of the cartoons on both <laughs> networks. What a second? He was older, so he thought it was kind of weird? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, Power yeah, Rangers, kind of Power Rangers is weird when you're older, dude. Is it? Yeah, I watched that. I, I, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I was never a Power Rangers kid. I was too busy playing video games to watch TV, really. I, yeah, I wasn't a Power Rangers kid either. I think because, you know, I'm younger than Phil, but I'm similar age to Phil. And Power Rangers was a little bit too... I, I didn't like it either. I'll say older, that. I agree with Phil on that. We found Rangers a common out, cause. Like, this is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I used to watch a lot of the cartoons on both networks. And oh. uh, some of the best cartoons I think ever made for kids in that era were probably things like uh, the Batman animated series, the original animated series, and uh, Gargoyles, which was a Disney Ooh. cartoon. I think both oh, of those yeah. were Big exceptional Gargoyles. cartoons. Uh, they had continuity, meaning you know things that happened in the cartoon carried over to the next episode. It wasn't explaining like, continuity. Just, so Thank you. Uh -huh. you, you know, if you missed an episode, nothing changed. It was an interesting continuous series, both of them, and uh, I really liked both of them. I think that they had a lot of adult style entertainment <laughs> value. Um, <laughs> adult, adult style. style. <laughs> the adult gargoyles were getting movies. freaky with it. They, Don't worry about it. <laughs> they were very adult oriented. <laughs> like everything back when I was a kid, and I watched a lot of different stuff. Hold so, on. yeah, they Hold had on. a lot of adult style entertainment. Oh, value. Um, nice. Adult style. Yeah. Adult style entertainment value. That's what Derek likes. Yeah. I yeah, 18 plus on point. gargoyles. Like Sorry, kids. When I was a kid, and I watched a lot of different stuff. Um, Did uh, you ever answer the question, or you just said I watched a lot of stuff? I thought they asked what you like better, but all right. Uh, Phil, what are your demographics? Yeah, I don't even remember. Count as an overseas viewer, as I'm from the United Kingdom, but do uh -oh. you know what your viewer count is from non-English speaking countries? British style. Thanks for answering. Blah 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 blah. Uh, and that's from <laughs> Senor Huevos Benedicto. Shout out to Steve. I can answer this uh, question. Answer. Oh yeah, it's, it's Steve of the Dead. Really cool thing. Good question, this is Steve. Steve's question. <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Steve. <laughs> Great You're question, use brother. It to actually check out things like demographics. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. For you because YouTube has a really cool thing, okay? Oh, computer oh. using Phil. This is very rare. This is hype. Computer interacting DSP. This is hype. And you're supposed to use it to actually check out things like demographics and who's viewing and who's doing what. Oh my God, he's really so, doing it. Yep, he is. Do. Look at you, king on his throne. A king at work. <laughs> oh, I muted it. <laughs> What I'm going to do is rolling back the clock uh -oh. all the way back to when I opened my DSP gaming channel, which was April of 20. Back in time segment. Oh, uh, this is really cool. What I'm seeing Love the here shot. is you can see, as you can see here, now oh. of <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, well, no, we got to get this for anyone that wants to edit this. This is a classic <laughs> right here. <laughs> Have fun with that one. <laughs> As you can see here, <laughs> the numbers aren't adding up. Of uh, who views my videos, and obviously... Oh, yeah, I can see that. Overwhelming 55.8% of my viewers are in the United States, so more than half of my viewers Whoa. are in the US. Thanks for the boot then, check. Big ups, Crash Override. <laughs> Oh, fucking mute. I hate this system. LT, come on. What are you doing? I hate this fucking... <laughs> if you click on the right of the video, it mutes it. Is that a YouTube native thing? Or, or what? It always fucking happens. I've never experienced this. The United States is an overwhelming 55.8% of my viewers are in the United States. Yeah, so 55%. more than half of my viewers are in the U.S. Uh -huh. But then as it breaks it down, you see how diverse my viewing audience actually is. You've got 8.8% <laughs> oh of my viewing audience is actually from the United Kingdom. Whoa. Seven Super diverse. 8%. 2.2% <laughs> is in Sweden. And oh, that actually... Yeah. I'm not surprised because I get a lot of messages from Swedish fans. They say, Phil, you know, I'm a fan from Sweden and, you know, I, we love your stuff here. So I'm not surprised to see that they're number four. <laughs> oh, that's what they say. Country. Hey, Phil, we're from Sweden. We love your stuff. Germany, Australia, the Netherlands. Swedish style Portugal, DSP parades Romania, in the streets. They're all very they love them so there, much. So uh -huh. That's pretty cool to know that I have such a wide viewer base. And just to think. 45% of the Dude, people who watch my videos aren't in the U.S. That's crazy. <laughs> That's PewDiePie watching. <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie. And I have a really large international fan base. That's really cool to know. I have such an international so fan base. So I hope that base. answers your question there. Um, and just for the record, as of yesterday, I now have a total of over 72 million views on DSP Gaming, which I think is pretty neat. 
pretty and, neat, um, dude. You know, in a year, Super and neat. Month, I agree. a year and two months, I've gone and done 72 million views. That's oh my pretty God, crazy. Dude. That's um, insane. How many views? So I hope that answers crazy. your question. Uh, next question. Kind of. Uh, hey, DSP, I'd like to know yeah. how you feel about Ubisoft, or Ubisoft, or uh, Ubi. you say it, continuing the Ezio story in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Do you think that they should have put in a new protagonist? And what's your thoughts on the multiplayer letting you customize your own character? That's from Delta Man. Blazer. Delta Blazer, get help. Well, I have, uh... <laughs> yeah, why else do you give a shit about his opinion on this? <laughs> yeah. I think that... Get help, dude. If get a friend. Originally, Ubisoft Literally join that, any uh, random <laughs> Xbox Live party and ask this question. <laughs> 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 You'll probably fun, get a better man. answer. <laughs> yeah. Any kind of an uproar or anything about using the same character over and over. Oh, oh, look down. Sip. Put but it back. Was, it's, they didn't do that. It answer, got a sip. I think what they wanted to do they was they didn't do that. Assassin's Creed to see what the reception was of it, and if it was positive, then I know. Would that's true. We're being harsh. That was a fine question. Games, really <laughs> but still, like, I just don't care about the answer, <laughs> so I take it out on the question <laughs> person. I take out all my anger on the questioners. It was really good, and also within one year, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood comes out, and it's really good, and it improves upon Assassin's Creed 2 in many ways. And now here another year and another mm -hmm. one's coming out. So that's pretty crazy that a game studio can put together these games so quickly. Pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> you know, this is better than fighting game question, though. I'm not going to lie. That's true, that's true. Where going and where it's going to end. I also am I'm very excited that Altair is coming back. I liked Altair a lot in the first Assassin's Creed. I know Altair. a lot of people complain about him and say that he didn't have much of a I refuse to believe that's how you pronounce that word, but I don't know. I think it's usually Altair, uh, but is it Alta Altair? I mean... It, uh, it might be Altair. He's okay. uh, okay. like uh, Middle Eastern style. Okay, okay. There are a lot in the first Assassin's Creed. I know a lot of people complain about him and say that he's my memory serves, but I'm also uh, Caucasian style killer. from the oh, U.S. So, like up. <laughs> <Big> up, dude. <laughs> Shout out, <to> Caucasians. <laughs> Invisible mute that uh, she's asking for the song of the horse running. Search Frog Machine on YouTube and you'll find that. I can't remember the name of it. It's Sway something, but yeah. So yeah, Frog uh, Machine. I like the fact that there's another game, but I, at this point, I just have to say that's it. Enough. This will be the end of the trilogy. You have to move on to something new after this. Uh -huh. Assassin's Creed Three can't be the she's same. You have to move on. Again. Laying down the law. Desmond, okay. You want to continue with Desmond? Desmond, okay. Story? That, that I have an appetite for. Can't have the same guys again. Which is strange, because that's like the part everybody hated from those games. But go ahead, go off, King. <laughs> now, as for multiplayer, I really enjoyed the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'm glad that they added it. Uh, it's good to see that it wasn't just an afterthought or something tacked on. And uh, oh, neck I'm thing. really liking the fact that it looks like they're taking it seriously again. They're adding more features like character customization. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to the multiplayer of Assassin's awesome. Creed Revelation. Okay, thank God. Okay, next question is, Dear Phil, this isn't a gaming question, but I wanted your opinion anyway. Okay, I okay, that's good. Well, I like this question, guy, so far. This guy's, this guy's a winner so far. Will we get angry at him in a second? Let's me see. and my best friend, we've been through a lot together. Tighter than tight, we've been through some sticky situations. But right now, me <laughs> This sounds like a LARPer, doesn't it? We've been through some sticky yeah. situations. <laughs> sticky situations a little sus anyway. Yeah, uh, what do you, what given do you mean? Giving DSP's fan base. You're passing the Playboy back and forth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We on our Derek shit out here. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Me and him are waiting for our four hot chicks. Now, I believe that every guy has two... Now, hold, on, him... hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to restart that. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to restart and let it go. because we We're going off the rails, I think. But hold on. Through some sticky situations. Uh -huh. Okay. But right now, me and him are waiting for our four hot chicks. Four hot chicks. Okay. Now, I believe that every guy has two perfect hot chicks in the world. Okay. Me and him have been okay. wishing for them for about a month now. I was wondering if you could tell uh, me, because I oh, think that you're oh, really full of wisdom. How can you oh, tell if they're coming or not? Because oh, we really want to oh, know, and I wanted uh, your opinion. Thanks from Juke Matterful. Juke Matterful, I mean this in all seriousness, and I mean all. I, I, I'm tr trying to help here. Seriously, get help. Like that <laughs> might be the worst question we've ever heard. That's the most dented question. Like, even, I don't care how old that kid is. If you ever had that thought. How do you know when my hot <laughs> chicks are coming? What? Hey, sometimes you don't know when the hot chick's coming, man. Then, Come on. How can I solve this problem with I don't know the answer to? I know. I'll ask a YouTuber. <laughs> this I, where did he get this idea that there's two hot chicks in For your life? Or, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Who put this idea in his head? What? <laughs> There's, we're looking for our four hot chicks. Let me tell you what I mean. 
All right. Well, <laughs> here, here's the real question for Atlas. Then the first of our, uh, first of tonight prediction. Mm. Is he going to give an answer to this uh, semi serious? Like, you know, or is he just going to joke it away? Like, you know what I'm saying? Semi serious. Like, oh, I think he's joking this one away. All right. All right that's 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 uh, Atlas's call. What the fuck is he talking about? There are two perfect solid reaction yeah. for every dude. I agree. Yeah, You're going to be sadly disappointed, my friend. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I can't find a single <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a berate, by the way. Okay. Fuck this guy. Uh, it d- definitely made him feel like an asshole. <laughs> Deserved question. berate, but a berate yeah. nonetheless. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't make these up. This is a real question. Okay, next question. Oh, no, you, you, you wouldn't even be creative enough to make up that bad of a question. Oh, oh. Do you prefer Eleanor? Sneaky. You can't sneak that by me, motherfucker. I don't I think it was sneaky at all. He was... I, make these up. This I think he tried question. to duck okay, his hat question. below the hat. You see? He's trying to hide it with the hat. See, he puts the hat down. Hold on, partner. I gotta do something real quick. Hang on, partner. And that is a, is that a one sided? Oh no, that was just a touch. Touch. Lip. I say he just touched the tip. Smell. Sometimes that's all you need. <laughs> he's, he's a finger <laughs> sniffer. Shout yeah. out to all my fellow <laughs> finger sniffers. That's from JJ one two three five four. Good question. I didn't my answer okay. is Not I do prefer back. heavy rain, and here's why. Heavy rain, games, of course. Pardon me, my it's very hot in here, so I'm gonna have to like take the hat off to kind of cool down a little bit in the middle of this, but. <laughs> Mat my hair down with sweat. You, Gotta... should, you should get some frost tips on those those things. What the fuck are those tips? Look at that. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> it's, it's it's just a little sweaty. Alt, don't worry about it. God. Windows some... banned. AC nice. banned. Both games had really good stories. You know the super hot Connecticut summers job. they have. Oh Both yeah. Kind of like a murder mystery kind of. A well, did he say um, that it's known for the humidity or something? Had, think, something like that. <laughs> 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 As, As you know, Connecticut's very Yeah, and the Midwest okay. is not, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Whoa. I, um, but overall, I have to say Heavy Rain tops it simply because the gameplay of Heavy Rain okay. never really gets old. Everything uh, you do in the game is fun uh, okay. and interesting. Uh, whether you're shaving your, your face, taking a piss, meaningful or and curated whether style. You're whether you're in taking a crazy a piss. highway scene where you're trying to veer your yelling at the kid the car on the highway, mm-hmm. or you know you're doing detective. You're noticing the race of the characters and making jokes based only on their race. It's a lot of fun. This virtual AI kind of a deal to try Very to robust <laughs> and topical because we're watching really that tomorrow, Sunday night. It really is. The gameplay never fun, gets dude. stale in that game. This heavy rain is in winning LA the poll. <laughs> It kind of does. About halfway through the game, you kind of realize, I know this is the same formula. It's going to be the same for the rest of the game. I'm going to drive to a case. I'm either going to investigate a body or a crime or something that happened. I'm going to walk around this room and wait for my controller to vibrate and make a weird sound so I know that there's a clue. I'm going to pick up the clue. I'm going to look at it. Okay. Then I'm going to go and find someone. Someone's going to run from me eventually. I'm going to catch them. I'm going to interrogate them. I'm going to try to guess what they're saying, if it's true or a lie, use evidence, and then I mean, it's going to wash rinse and You just over mentioned and over like 20 and things to do. I mean, that sounds kind of hype. All those steps. Yeah, you can describe <laughs> any game like that if you wanted to. You're playing GTA, you know, you're going to drive a car to a spot, and then you're going to get into a cutscene and then shoot some guys and then get back in the car and do some driving and then drive yeah. to this spot. Like, yeah, you can describe any game like that if you really want to. That sounded pretty fun. I mean, you had a lot of stuff that was going to happen there. Like, if you said like one thing or two things, like, oh, okay, that sounds repetitive. But he was naming over a lot of stuff. Someone's got to run away. You got to find the clue. I was like, all right, I'm in. Interrogate. There's yeah. shootouts. There's driving. There's story elements. Like, yeah, the game's fun. <laughs> this sounds hype. <laughs> you will at some point get bored. And but he's going to hype up bored. QTE Central on Heavy uh-huh. Rain. Big ups. Yeah. And like, you know, op- like turning on the sink. I really like where the story's going. I wish there was more story right now rather than me walking around looking for these stupid clues or... Oh. You know, the generic in- interrogations that I was doing. Generic so, interrogations. Every Rain never felt boring to me, never felt repetitive, and I loved it from start to finish. <laughs> One of my favorite games of all time at this point. So, Ooh. yeah, Every Rain definitely is a step Good up in LMR, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Uh, next question. A lot of flush in the I, toilet in I the bathroom. It was very re- meaningful. Because it was a very long-winded question. Basically, this, here's the question. When you have to censor things in your videos... Why do you do it the way that you do? Meaning, why do you just take a picture and like superimpose it over the screen? Ah, yes. Have you ever seen Phil's censorship style, Atlas? I was just about to say, when has he ever done this? No, he has done that. Um, be- when there's some nudity in games, I believe. I don't know how I could even search for this. He's done it for games like, um, oh god, C- God of War. The first one, I know he did it. 
And he would do like stupid God of War 3. Could, but anyone have a link to it? Because I don't know how to even search for that. But he would do like a picture of like Twilight on it to try to be funny. Like it would be like a naked dude scene, but he'd have a picture of like Twilight on it. Like I think that was what oh. he used. Or similar things. Maybe Justin Bieber. I think he would try to make jokes out of it, but he would just slap an image on top of the nudity and that's it. So that that's how, that was his uh um fucking what's it called? Like try to censor shit style. Sounds like it sucks. This curse particularly for <laughs> Crash Redemption. He would prefer if like for example if there's a naked girl, I just put covers over her nipples. That oh, there we go. With her as the camera moves rather than a big blotch that covers the whole big screen. Blotch. He says it does kind of ruin the immersion into the game a little bit. And he says, could your fans help you edit your own videos more tactfully without blocking oh, the entire screen? Why'd he put well, this in his head? The reason I do what I do, there's two reasons. Number one, because I'm trying to get the videos up as quickly as possible. Uh-huh. That's and, the key, uh, bitch. Number that's, two, yeah, that's I just it. don't have the video editing equipment or expertise to do a better way. Okay? It's very no, hard no, 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 to no, no. have a picture just cover specific parts of the screen, especially when the screen is moving. If it was a still picture, sure, I could put things over nipples or whatever. You know what I mean? Or if there's a dick, you just cover the dick. <laughs> but it's a lot more hard when the camera's moving, it's the a, person's moving like this around. So you could, he said equipment, but it's the same equipment. You just don't want to put in the work to, you know, move your censorship. So he would do it the laziest way possible. I mean, let's, let's get real. Laziest way possible. He would just cover up half the screen for as long as the nudity was on there. No matter how much he's covering, he would still do that. Uh, and that's what he's talking about here. So let's not get it. He's saying like, oh, I don't have the equipment. We definitely have the equipment, but. <laughs> but that sounds exactly like uh, right up Phil's alley. It's just cover half the screen. Also, this dent complaining about immersion while there's this fat regard, you know, yelling over half the game. Yep. Uh, I don't know how you're getting immersed in anything, but go off. I don't know. All right. Hermit, Who's watching just... DSP for. Uh... Uh, why do you do? Yeah, just. All right. Let's just see if we can find one here. Um, this Kermit, you're on the clock here. You are. You. You are... Now, Hermit, this is your field trip. Yep, this is your field trip now. You are giving us all the permission slip, and if you fail this, I mean, like there's going to be consequences, bro. God of War all right, HD so let's see if I can try to scroll. Meaning, this game originally was a game that came out for the PlayStation 3. It was extremely uh... popular. It was a console-specific... getting my ass kicked. I got a trophy. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, that's a good part. <laughs> my ass kicked. Tell me a timestamp if you got oh, it. Oh, good. That was excellent. Swim straight down. This is a, a very interesting playthrough. He hates. He, he is one of the games where he hates it all the way through, but then the end says, "I, I don't love care this about game. the fucking Nyad anymore. I'm tired of doing oh, it." Oh, that's why when we looked at the part. hateful reviews today, or the hateful truth reviews today, we yeah. were keeping track of positive and negatives because <laughs> he, he he does that shit all the time. Look at this bullshit. He won't fucking swim fast, man. He sucks. <laughs> he sucks. His swimming <laughs> skills. <laughs> he sucks at swimming, dude. So dumb. Defeats yeah, can... the Greek gods. Uh, <laughs> swimming though can't do yeah. it. Look at that! It wouldn't do oh, it. Is that it? Uh... Brought to you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think it is. Portion of the game. Brought to you. Gotcha. Yep, there it is. By Brazos.com. So, this is the stupid shit he would do. Big up, yes. Justin. Gould. Holy shit! What's this? For no matter how much uh -oh. wine he consumed or how many uh -oh. he took to his bed. Yeah, see, look at this. Like the most nothing on earth. Could laziest yeah. head censoring ever. That plagued his mind. Just Whoa. don't show anything. Well, I guess we'll do the yeah. minigame. You Ooh, might as well have just blacked out the whole screen. Yeah. It looks like something flashed for a second. He... Oh, just the back. He wanted to see the back real quick. Oh. Well, I guess yeah, we'll do the that minigame. swole man Wait, back. Yeah. That? That's this awesome. reminds him of a wrestler. The United States Congress <laughs> just shot down a law that would prevent gay marriage. All right. Time for the minigame. Yes! Oh, well, hold on. Nice. What? What? Alright! Well, I guess we'll do the minigame. Wait a minute, what's that? This just in. The United States Congress just shot down a law that would prevent gay marriage. Alright! Time for the minigame. <laughs> I don't understand the joke. I don't get it. I don't get... What, yeah. What? I... The minigame is fucking the girls. I mean, that's the minigame. You gotta, like, you know, do the controls or whatever and... You know. Yeah, it's a quick time event to fuck. I get it. Yeah, yeah I played like, the game. That... <laughs> Congress. I don't. I dude. I don't okay. know. I'm I think a... we don't get too deep. I think we're going too deep trying to understand. Yeah, it. there's a reason I didn't watch the guy back in the day because yeah. it was like this shit wouldn't have flown even back then for me, even Look, though I was just born. God of War three part thirty six. He uses Roseanne and Miley. I right, I'm down with that. <laughs> Roseanne. Uh, part 36. Okay, part 36.
That's one hell of a part 36. Damn. Got timestamp though, Joe Dub? We'll be searching. All right, what, I'll work on it as we listen. When the camera's moving, the person's moving like this around, and it's Head back the though. This uh, slither, slither, right. slither style yeah, he's got. He looked like, he looked like uh, what's her name? The, the Aki. Just covered the dick. But <laughs> it's a lot more hard when the it's camera's a Oh, look at that. Here, here, here. here we go. Look at this movement. Extremely limited. I want to see you slither dance. <laughs> hey. <laughs> turn it up. Turn it up. Gets you the eyes from across the room. I like that. <laughs> this is how he get bitches. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This is what he. All right, ready? Target acquired. <laughs> Underage fan in the DMs. This is how we slither in, boys. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming at you. It's around and it's not always on the same area of the screen. I've tried, I've tried in certain situations to do it. Coming it didn't work out well because it was too difficult because the thing just kept moving. So unfortunately, more often than not, I just end up blocking a large portion of the screen with a picture. Oh, Joe Dub is saying literally the whole video um, starts censored. Okay, Could cool. the fans help? Right, Unfortunately, right. no, not really, because again, I'm trying to get the videos up as soon as possible. I Got can't stop three, right? everything, stop the yeah. playthrough for several hours to try to find someone who can help me edit these videos. So. You gotta find somebody who can help me edit. I can't be bothered to learn how to do my own it's a shame content. Because if YouTube had proper filters to keep, you know, younger people from seeing the nudity or a video that's flagged as a mature video, then I wouldn't have to edit at all. But it is what it is, and I have to do it that way, and that's that. Okay. What does he want? He wants people to have to like take a picture of their ID or something. Uh, like okay, I don't understand question. what the they filter system would be like to be accurate like that. Game characters like Kratos and because uh, people just lie. I did. Yeah, of course. God. I was 18 for many years online. You know what I'm saying? Like I was. Yeah, I, I was pretty much always 18. <laughs> oh okay. boy! Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's that was his uh, editing of choice. Uh, Roseanne and oh oh yeah, he did a lot of stuff. Look, he just did this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look holy at that. shit! Oh, that's look bad. At the skills. Just cover holy the whole shit, screen. Look at that spinning action. With like a Dude, 15 by 15 far. picture, <laughs> bro. <laughs> what is hey, going what? on? What the hell, man? I'm about to come anyway. Jump I mean, in. Yeah. This got a sus picture of Miley Cyrus. How old was she at this point? <laughs> she was maybe pretty young then, right? Oh, I think she was of age. 2010. I don't know. I have to look Miley up. Cyrus. I mean, that's kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fozzy Bear. That's Bless funny. You, Bless me. Hell yes. And I got experience points for that shit. Born in like 92. That? Them apples. All right. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. 2010. 2002. So she was 18. Legit. She's literally 18. Hey, he likes some, a certain age. Shit. What can that you say? Crazy. Of course, you can't see that shit on YouTube, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, look, he got kind of lazy here. This shit on YouTube, but oh well. Left sc left side of the screen. Oh, you can't see much anyway. Nice. There she is, though. <laughs> oh well. That's what happens. That's what happens what? Hey, look, there's an item over here. Oh, look item. at this. Of all the places, they hide one of these level-up items in fucking Aphrodite's bedroom. A minotaur horn. <laughs> As you pick up a minotaur horn from a chest, you're worried about realism? <laughs> We're not watching. What am I getting? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh, field trip. <laughs> this is the derail stream. Come on. I'm never going to stop you. I, we went through so many rabbit holes this morning, right? When I woke up. It, uh, it's nothing to me, man. That's awesome. This is fun. Oh, what was the question? I didn't even hear the beginning of this. Uh, okay, next question. Hey, Phil, what's your opinion of Sony exclusive game characters like Kratos and now Cole from Infamous? Uh, Kratos, right on time, games. brother. Nice. With tons of experience in the fighting game genre, is this just a gimmick to milk the games for more money? Since Kratos is actually an NK9, but he's hardly used by anyone who plays online anyway. Thanks for replying, and that's from Solid Snake. Well, oh, Solid Snake. The bottom line is this. Oh, before, if you remember, okay. when Soul Calibur, I forget if it was two or three, I think it was three. When that came out for multiple consoles, each console had an exclusive character. I think one console had, like, uh, Spawn, one console had Zelda, uh, and one console had Hihachi. When the next Soul Calibur came out, they did it again. One console had Yoda, one console had Darth Vader. Um, is it a gimmick? Absolutely. That's exactly what it is. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick to try to get you to buy that version of the game. Now, does it matter? Uh... You know what I mean? Like, is it, does it, is it, is it something significant? Actually, if you're just a casual. <laughs>
Wow, we were really struggling with that one. Yeah, I was going to say, he has has no clue how he's going to answer this. Okay, so is it important? Does it matter? Um, Well, is it something to talk about? Is it? (laughs) He had no clue what to say. Let's explain the game. Sure, I I think it's cool that you can buy the PlayStation 3 version of Mortal Kombat over the, the Xbox 360 and you get Kratos. That's cool. You get an extra character. So if you're just a casual player, that's a yeah, nice good thing. point, Jeff K. But the thing is, these characters always get banned. They get banned. Hello, I didn't even catch it. The gubs. Playing field. Not everyone owns the same version of the game. It would be unfair to get into a tournament and you have to face Yoda, who's not on your copy of the game, and you get completely raped because you've never seen him before. So these characters. Oh, that drop are the R word. Big ups. It was a banned. fighting game thing. You guys fighting, wouldn't understand. Guys know that, yeah. Therefore, they're completely worthless when it comes to a competitive yeah. scene. So, um, like and that's why of people that play if the you game want the honest here. truth, okay, when you go gotcha. online, you don't see a lot of Kratos online. It's because he's banned from tournaments, so people no. say, if I'm going to play online and try to get good at this game, and maybe go try to play in a tournament, I can't use Kratos you know, in a tournament, so why would I waste my time learning him? Massively overstating how many players will ever even contemplate going to a live tournament. Like, massively overstating. Like, imagine, what percent of people pick up a fighting game and say, I'm going to play this live? Like, it's so point zero zero. It's an absolute zero. fraction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's so fucking low. That's why you don't see him online that much. He fuck you, dude. Come playing on. Him online. So it's <laughs> oh, a neat gimmick about you know, in a tournament. So why would I waste my time learning him and playing him online? So it's a neat gimmick. It's a neat thing to get people to buy a certain version of the game. But at the same time, not it's really it. nothing oh. significant. Uh-oh. Target acquired. Those characters are always going to be. Banned he saw it. Play. He looked at that finger. Uh-oh. Okay. Quick sip. The next question uh, is from X Milt Money X 7 Oh, sorry. this question is: I just want to know what are your thoughts on the new wrestling game WWE 12? I know you don't <laughs> normally like simulated games, but what do you think about them changing the name from SmackDown vs. Raw to just WWE? And will you be buying it? Um, All right. Uh, it's not much to ask here, though. He's just gonna say I like it. I don't, I don't know. It's just a bullshit. Oh. I don't care. I'm interested. The yeah, it's, it's interesting. wrestling, man. Like He's definitely interested. I'll tell you that, though. They may go with, like, the all-stars. Bloody <laughs> men on screen. He's interested. Say less. And then they might have their regular WWE line over here that'll be a more simulation. I like the WWE games. I actually like the SmackDown oh, games. I could I guess that. I played a lot of them on PS2. Oh. My friends we used to play a multiplayer. <laughs> He's telling the truth here. a lot, and I'm looking forward to this. I want to see what they're going to do with it. Well, I want to see yep. if... The changes they're making are significant enough that they're completely renaming this series WWE 12. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot of information about it yet. Besides them just kind of being at E3 and talking about it, they didn't really show any significant changes. So I'm interested. And yeah, I will be trying. Yeah. I think it's it's yeah. time for me to we got, we try another it. wrestling game. Um, <laughs> next question. What? It's time to try another wrestling game? I think it's, it's time for me to... Try another wrestling game. Like it's some um, life event. I think it's time. Yeah, yeah. I've waited long enough. I've grown as a person I would, enough. <laughs> I was just about to say, I, I, like I know the last one didn't go so well, but I, I think it's time we try again. You know, <laughs> I'm ready to be heard again. <laughs> I hate, that's Next a terrible question. line. I hate. <laughs> I'm ready to get her. I'm ready to see the sweaty men again. I've grown as a person enough. The toxic cherry juice, yeah, that's cool. I do need a spoon card. I don't have a spoon card yet, but I definitely do need a spoon card. What you're saying really badly and then end up having to either edit it out or start over. Oh, God, what? I forgot the beginning. If so, really badly and then end up having to either edit it out or start over like a blooper. If so, I think it would be cool for you to start putting all those together and make a special blooper reel thing. Probably would be really Oh, that's too much work. That requires uh, editing. Um, You know what? No, actually, most of the time, as you can see, (laughs) I do kind of stuff. I. I do uh, you know what? No. <laughs> that's that's, that's you know the shit in the end. I don't give a shit about your guys' viewing experience, so I just leave everything in. Honest with my videos, I don't, I don't recut Uh-oh. videos. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. That's exactly what happens, huh? I completely blank. That's only happened a small handful of times over the years that I've been doing videos on YouTube. So look at this. Yeah. I'm not really worried about it. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, As you can see just, now, I'm digging my fingers. One, I don't one take care. Fill, because literally, what I do if I screw oh, up, we, I yo, he called himself fill. one take Phil. One take Phil. I thought that was something we called him as a meme. He no. literally called himself that. He what coined, the fuck? He coined himself. You know they call me the business one take Phil. <laughs> I'm not oh my business, god. One take Phil. I've been watching all this old DSP stuff on the streams, and yeah. it's one take Phil, one take Phil. I'm criticizing he's not cutting his lines, he's not redoing anything, and it's pre-recorded. It's literally what his goal uh-huh. was. 
I hate him. I wouldn't want to one take field. Phil, because without it, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I just you could call me one one take Phil because literally what I do if I screw up or I go blah 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 blah, blah and I miss say something or mispronounce something it's funny and I just keep rolling with it. So no, pretty much I just do one take and that's it. Yeah, that's it, dude. Um, yeah, just send question. her, bud. Who cares? Phil, all the years of playing Resident it. Evil games, what are your opinions on the direction that the franchise is going? Uh, being more of now of an action-based style rather than a survival uh, horror game. Action-based. Also, there's a new Resident Evil game called Operation Raccoon City, which is taking place during the first two Resident Evil games. But you play as guards that. with an umbrella that are trained to kill the survivors of the outbreak. Oh. Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you going to play this game with Rambo, etc., etc.? And that's from Big yes. Star 17. Well, and Howard. great and question. Panda. Um, Again? What I would like to say is, personally, I like both. I like the original Resident Evil games that were more of, the controls were clunky, but it was more about finding items and solving puzzles oh, we found versus a now where it's becoming a lot more action-oriented, ammo is a lot more plentiful, now there's co-op with Resident Evil 5, a lot of people have problems with that. I personally like both. I don't see why, Ooh. you know, you people didn't like Resident Evil 4 or 5. The high I, pitch. I don't know why you, saying, you know, people I mean, didn't I like Resident Evil 5. What does that mean, um, you people? I, I think the reason, excuse me. <laughs> One take Phil. Change it and not have more of the same. Um, I think the reason, excuse me, for the backlash was because they would haven't made another survival horror style Resident Back Evil. They all seem to be going action-based now, and people seem to have a problem with that. Yeah, I can understand that. If you really had a game style that you really love, and all of a sudden they're changing it completely, I can understand why you would be annoyed or concerned or pissed off that they're not going along with what you like anymore. Yeah, so, uh -huh. yeah um, I personally... I'm a Resi fan, uh, ALT. So I have no problem with the way it's they're fine, going. It's, it's just, just a shame that you're kind of losing that traditional... He's, he's, he doesn't even say his opinion. He's like, well, I can see why people would say that. Now, me personally, you can't even tell what he feels at the end. Gameplay. Now, as for the new game coming out, I've seen it. What I'm really thinking here is that this is like what Resident Evil Survivor should have been. And forgive me if that's not the, what the name of it was. I'm talking about the game that was out on PS2. It was that co-op online game where there was a lot of problems. You couldn't do Don't even know what he's talking you about. Communicate with the people you were playing with. Yeah, yeah. Never seen like this in my life. To figure it out unless you were doing like, you were doing an online chat at the same time so you people could communicate. Uh, I think back then the technology wasn't there to do that kind of game yet. It was ambitious, but it wasn't there. Now is the time. Resident Evil Outbreak. Kind of okay, I do, I do know that name. I have seen that. Game come out. Uh, got time for one more question. One more question. Okay. Man. This is a long one. Here, here's a kind of fun idea. Let's see what he thought about opera. Did you, you have you ever played Resident Evil at Raccoon City? I have not. Me either. No. Let's just see what he thought real quick of it. The game he just said he was interested in. We're not watching this whole fucking thing, I'll tell you that. But let's see the final thoughts. It's, it's good and bad. Look what is going good. on, everyone? The trick here is when he's wrapping it up, he'll do an epic t -pose. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know, yeah, you yeah. You know he's at the end here. This is For anyone that wants to stream this, kind of sit, look for the t -pose and we know we're getting closer to the wrap-up. That's what I do. So here we go. Once you get the T. Things I've played recently, it's definitely better than the average game. You can tell they put the effort in. The fact that there are these really cool references <laughs> to parts of the Resident Evil 2 and 3 storyline. The fact that it does have these Resident Evil characters in it with pretty unique personas and, and abilities. Are we okay? All the Resident Evil monsters uh, make cool, glorious returns in third-person combat, which is really neat. Glorious but returns. there's just not enough content. Uh, there's no excuse for this game to have a five-hour-long campaign. I was going to say, yeah, it's like five hours missions. long. It could have 20 missions. And they have so, you have such a wealth <laughs> of... of content in the Resident Evil universe. Think about it. Five mainstream Resident Evil games plus Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil Wait, Dark Who holds up five like with Resident their Evil fingers games, like RG that? Resident like, all together? Oh, Resident Evil Zero content in the Resident Evil universe. Think about it. Five yeah, like, that's not how you do five, <laughs> dude. That's like, stop. That's a, that's a stop. Yeah. yeah. Stop what you're doing right now. Stop. Please don't come closer. How is that a five? Mainstream Resident Evil games plus I will Resident defend Evil myself. Zero. Oh, Resident yeah. Evil. <laughs> like, how many Resident Evil games are there that they could? Here, here's my favorite. He gets that the, the hand. <laughs> stop! Stop! Uh, uh, Adam Krigler, Adam Krigler, what did you think the joke was there? <laughs> halt, citizen. <laughs> yeah. Post Resident. But here, here's my you favorite. chose to broke the yeah, law. There you go. Do it. Do it. Oh, I got it somewhere. Here we go. I got it. I got it. On top of it. You chose to broke the law.
Live with, with the consequences, the consequences. motherfuckers. All right, let's watch. Um, I, I want to watch this. So he gets his hand out for a long as shit list, but then he kind of runs five. out of steam. Yeah, so we got five coming, but then he runs out of steam after the first or second. I love when he does this. <laughs> of content in the Resident Evil universe. Think about it. Five mainstream Resident okay, Evil games we go. plus Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil Dark Side Pro- Like, how many Resident <laughs> Evil games are there? Lots of other ones. They could have pulled content. Lots of other stuff, too. Instead, they only create seven short missions and try to sell it as a retail game. Whoa. It baffles the mind. Like, what the fuck were they thinking here? Isn't it usually boggles the mind? <laughs> I, th- I mean... Yeah, I, can, I believe so. Yeah, can you say baffles the mind? Maybe you can. I don't want to be too much too tough. You live your truth, Phil. So, overall, how do I score Resident Evil Operation yeah, Raccoon City? Here I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Oh, can we guess? It's can we guess? Can we guess? Average... Okay. Better than the average game, so that probably puts it above five, but we're not guessed. How many out of ten? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you go ahead. Go, go I'll first, because I did I'll this all six. this morning. Six point, uh, six point five. Damn it. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll have to give it a 5.5. Okay. Because I think 6.5 is the right answer. But I know sometimes, <laughs> because we've seen it today, he'll give it a 0.75. Oh. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'd be so upset. 0.75. Come on, that's illegal. <laughs> game, but outside of that, no one else is going to want to play go. this game. It's not for to be played single yeah. player. I'll tell you that not right now. Player. And I do want to mention that their AI is pretty good. Well, I did play a mission or two in single player. I want to change to six, six, it. six. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go. <laughs> Until he says it, you can always change it. And although the AI is good and does a good job of healing you and, and covering spots and doing stuff, it's just not awesome. the same as playing with another human, which is what you're dying to do when you're playing the, the campaign of this Need game. friends for that. So Dying the for fact that there's enough. so little content, but it's fun to play it with friends, I have to kind of weigh and balance. I'm going to give what? Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City a 5.75. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm fucking oh. livid, dude! <laughs> This guy's scale is so goddamn whack. 5.75, boys. I'm... <laughs> Pop I hate it, it off. I hate it. <laughs> dude, dude, that's the worst. Atlas was so close, so on the nose. He changed it up, dude. Changed it up. Trust me. I literally, instinct. like, I should have just split the difference and I'd have had her. And I just, I messed it up. Ah, uh, damn it. Because the content is good, the gameplay that is there is good, and it's a blast to play with your friends, but it's just not enough content for a $60 retail game. And the fact that they've got fucking DLCs lined up and DLCs available on launch day, and they couldn't put the. No, Invisible Mute did get it, though. Yep, Invisible Mute was on it. But you always, Invisible Mute, have you seen this? Is the question, you know? I doubt, I mean, who's that crazy to watch this? I would say, I doubt it. Who's watching this? <laughs> <laughs> 28,000 views this video got. It's peak. Damn. Well, let's get through it. Uh, hi, Phil. Seeing as you're a wrestling fan, I hope you give your, your opinion on this. Uh-huh. Several wrestlers are now beginning to start up their own YouTube channels and put up videos. Uh, guys like Val Venus and Matt Hardy and more recently The Ultimate Warrior have been doing it. Hell, The Ultimate Warrior is actually getting a lawsuit from Hulk Hogan because he said things about him, kind of crazy things about like Hogan going on drugs and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it will get much worse for Hulk Hogan's, uh, how people see him in the world now before that and uh, Hogan's basically suing him and it's unclear whether it's just his ego or maybe it's because it really is slanderous and it didn't uh-huh. really happen I, you know we don't know but anyway the most famous channel arguably is Zack Ryder's channel oh, who has gotten okay. so popular on YouTube that he's able to sell out all of his shirts on WWE.com beside, because he's genuinely entertaining to watch despite the fact that he gets very little time on actual television and uh, he's basically a jobber, and a jobber is basically who just someone who loses every single time. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, thanks for the pigs. Who knew if you were just an entertaining really personality, you could sell anyway? My question: <laughs> What is your opinion of YouTube of, of uh, wrestlers making YouTube? All right, now this is a good one to guess. Okay, so Atlas, this is the one we got to guess. Is he have overall? Let's just put it all together. Overall positive about wrestlers being on YouTube, or negative about wrestlers being on YouTube? This is a tough uh, one to guess. I, I'm in the middle. I think I'm gonna go positive with wrestlers being on YouTube. I think I I, th- I think he might say negative because they might take away viewership from like other people that are trying to make it right. They already made it in their field. What do they need YouTube for? I think we might sneakily get that kind of take, and it looks like everyone's kind of in the middle here too in chat. So let's see: positive, positive, negative, negative. Yeah, they'll steal his tips. That's what he's that's what he's kind of thinking. <laughs> but he won't say that. But he'll say like he'll steal the viewership, which was his tips back then. So let's see. YouTube accounts. You think it's a good new step for wrestlers to take to show themselves to the wrestling community or a bad one? 
Uh, and that is from H-Y-O-M-P. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I think that this because, phenomena is uh, interesting. I think it took a while for wrestlers to realize what YouTube was and mm -hmm. say, hey, wait a minute. This is a creative uh, outlet for me to say what's on my mind and, and, and basically sell myself when well, hang my on. mainstream company that I'm saying it's interesting. We haven't said yet. Um, Zack Ryder is probably the best example. He went from literally absolutely no time at all on TV, okay? They, he wasn't being used properly at all. And he put up a YouTube channel, made a funny show on it, and he's hugely popular on the Internet. And, yeah, people do buy out his merchandise. So it's actually funny because uh -oh. the writers have been trying to use Zack Ryder on TV now because he is so popular on the Internet. And Vince McMahon, and, again, this is going to my argument against Vince McMahon and how he's a senile little idiot and needs to step down. <laughs> but Vince McMahon told us... And this is in 2011. <laughs> He has a lot more time, but I'm hitting it now. <laughs> oh, he, he's starting to notice the quarter demon. He's not scared of it yet, but he has noticed the quarter demon's presence. So let's keep your eye yeah, on it. It is shown up, yeah, uh, yeah. but it's not active. Yeah, not scary yet. Writers, no. I know it's in the show. I know we were going to do it. I know we told Zach he's going to be on TV. I'm overriding it because the internet doesn't count. The internet shouldn't have any bearing on what we do here. So that's exactly that. what he said. Only doing what I yeah. like. And that that's the he was what at happened. all those. Yeah, I was going to say, he was at the Vince McMahon times. meeting at his house. He goes to all of them. Vince overrode everyone and said, no, I don't want him on TV. So fuck you, Vince McMahon. I'm done with your shit. Really? You really pissed me off first the CM Punk promo. Dude, part. he said, I'm done with your shit. Phil is probably like in the top 10 of normal consumers that have given money to the WWE in some way. Like, I know it's in the form of licensing, like, you know, Scopely pays WWE, but, like, imagine how much money Phil has given to WWE indirectly well, in his I, lifetime. Well, <laughs> you know? even directly. Like, yeah. I don't think most wrestling fans go to WrestleMania and spend $2,000. No. Like, that's already... That's insane. Phil has paid for at least one of Vince's pools. Like, at least a pool worth of shit. Now he's saying, fuck, I'm done with you, Vince McMahon. Problem. <laughs> now, you know, hearing all of this about Zack Ryder, you're a fucking idiot. And you need to step down and hand the company over to people who are going to make you numbers rather than just Ooh. doing the same old, same old and only... They should have hired DSP. He knew what he was talking about. So anyway, I digress. I think that's a really good thing for wrestlers to fuck. do. Wrestlers have to be careful. Oh, really good. There we go. Because Finally the answer. You might say something you don't mean. You might say something silly. And then it's going to make you look stupid or get you in trouble with your company. Okay? All right, that's it for part uh -oh. one of Ask the King. Ooh, there I'll it is. back with part two right away. Part two coming at you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get you the right way. Here we go. Lay up, motherfucker. Let's oh, skip this one here. Come on. What's going on, everyone? DSP here, and welcome to part two of Ask the King yeah. for June 30th, 2011. Got lots more questions to answer, so let's get right into it. Lots more questions. Uh, I'm hyped. First question is, hey, Phil, I was wondering how long it takes for your videos to upload to YouTube. I have a camera of the same brand as yours. Not long enough, unfortunately. Video, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> I don't know who this is. This could be like, you know, one of his, uh, I want to be a content creator fans. Your videos usually come up relatively fast after each other, and was wondering if you compress the files or if... Having a YouTube partnership could possibly make your videos upload faster. Much appreciated from MD Punk. Um, MD Punk. Well, interesting well. question. Let me give you some insight. First of all, how long is this going to be? It all depends on not only just the brand of your camera, but the model of your camera. What kind oh, of Oh, it's all about which camera, camera you're putting on your coffee table and pointing at the TV. Has, mm -hmm. And also, um, um, what? the quality of the video you're taking. I record in 720p. Now, if you're recording in 1080p, the file's going to be way bigger than what I record, and so obviously it's going to take longer to upload. I think. Uh, YouTube has problems with certain videos. <laughs> that uh, was just an A. That was just an A. Listen to this. He says problems. Like, just an A. And take longer to upload. Uh, YouTube has problems with certain videos. <laughs> like, that wasn't yeah. even trying to be O. That was just, I'm just yeah, trying to he... say A here. <laughs> You know, I don't know, man. Uh, and, he oh, talks like a fuck, like okay, a goober. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he always does. Who? Okay, so he has now. C can you auto do um, timestamps on your videos? Is that? Can you? Is there a way to automatically do that? I don't know. I don't. I've never. I've never I, looked I into it. But Phil do has timestamps on here. You you do timestamps too, right? You know, you timestamp your stuff, right? I hell no, I don't timestamp my shit. Are you serious? I hate my viewers, obviously. <laughs> Atlas H, you guys. But I would do at least pass the music, you know, because I only, do, you know, I mostly do live stream, so I'm like, all right, at least I do pass the song intro shit. But like, look, Phil has yeah, like yeah, which all I the appreciate. Thank are, you. Yeah, all the questions are here. 
Like that takes a lot of fucking work. Oh, if it's in the description, yeah, it's on know. auto. But oh, it's oh, okay. So we like I don't get it. I, he's not doing this. He would never ever spend time doing this for a video that's twelve, eleven years old. You know. But anyways, I just don't get. No, it. he had more gameplay to put out, man. Yeah. Can take longer, for example. And I don't think YouTube, YouTube had um, timestamps until after this video came out. So like. Unless they could automatically do it, this has to be a dead turn's work. ...MBI files, okay? But it absolutely hates some other file types, such as .mp4. Um, to clarify, I do think about time stamping, and then I, I just never it do it. So, it's the thought that counts, though, right? It doesn't like you guys enough. Take a lot longer to <laughs> <stuff> <laughs> but, I put out a 40-minute video is, a day. Come on, guys. Right, I need some slack. So, that's the crazy part. I've already checked out of this question. So I'm going to ask you, how, how long does it take you... Like, do you come up with the... This, you obviously you write a script. Is it pretty strict no, script? Or you there's have no ideas? script. You don't there's have a literally script, no script No. Damn. That's pretty good then. I can I can do oh, I, I, I couldn't have zero script. I watch I watch it live like uh starting at work and then on my way home and then I watch it all the way through. And then uh after the live's over, once he's done with the pre cum piss stream, yeah, I uh I, I start in on the video, it takes me like four hours. Wow. I grab the clip and I just bang her out. Nice. That's pretty. That's crazy. I, I have to have notes, but camera. The files are significantly different. larger. Than I don't like the way I sound when I read. Now, so for whatever reason, I, I'm not sure. Maybe within the two years of when I bought that first camera and this camera I use now, the technology is advanced to the point where the files can now be smaller but still look visually the same quality. So the other thing, of course, is your internet speed. Now I have really fast internet. I have a cable modem. And I'm under optimum. But he's got fast package, internet. Fast no, he does It's like 150. Area. You may have DSL. Yeah, DSL but like he's talking quick. about it like it's super quick. But yeah. like he, when you know when he talks about the condo later on, or I, maybe even before he talks about how bad the internet is and how he can't get an upgrade, and that's yes. why he's got to move across the country. Like we're just flip flopping at any time. It doesn't even matter anymore. I think it was like the highest rated of available for this condo, but the condo was like, remember he, he, yeah, he told us how bad it was many, many times since here, like how fucking bad it is. It's connected to everyone else's. So you know, I got some kind of great plan. I have to share with everyone else in this building, dude. Like, he always explains it away. But, yeah, now it's the best that he could possibly have. So, oh, hell yeah, it's fast, dude. Whenever he, it's used for the flex, it's very fast. Way, way slower than what I'm using. So uh, yeah. all, these factors all these factors can lead to a video uploading pretty slow. Just so I hope at them. least some of those give you some insight into he asked how uh, long you know, took what you. the deal is. Now, it's funny because <laughs> oh, it's funny. Point, I did buy another camera that wasn't a Sony camera. It was a Canon. And the videos looked pretty good, but the files were gigantic. The you files all were settings. insanely large. All settings. And it took so long to upload these to YouTube that I gave up on that camera. I said, forget it. The files are just way too big. So it all depends on the camera, the hardware, the software. We bought a camera, used it, yeah. saw the file size, and then just was like, ah, screw it. I'm not using that camera I paid for. And then, like, what, went back to the old one? Or did he buy another ca camera? Like, what? It sounds like he's at the mercy of the default settings. Like, that's what it is, you know? Like, usually you can change those settings. Absolutely, you can change what kind of file type and stuff. Like, you can't do everything. But, you know, you could change file type. He, like, picks up the camera. Oh, this one sucks, dude. You know, he's like, all right, that's out. That goes in the closet somewhere. Oh, yeah, frog machine. He didn't like it because it was a cannon. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The third <laughs> cannon, pool. brother. The third cannon. <laughs> Those files. The third cannon. All right, next question. Uh, hi, Phil. I've heard you mention that the Street Fighter series has been toned down so that it suits oh, a wider God. audience. Don't do but fighting. But I've also heard you say that in the near future, video games will be as popular as movies. I have two questions. Do you think that all the major franchises will be toned down to suit a wider audience? And if so, do you think it will be these toned down games that will be as popular as movies? Thanks from James. Um, James, it's already happened. James. If you haven't noticed, the hardcore style games seem to be going away. I mean, the hardcore, hardcore RPGs style. that used to be hard grinding and stuff like that have opened up to a more action style love hard style grinding. Um, what, is this? <laughs> what is this, like, little tendrils? <laughs> Well, he's he's got a you know he's head patting the tendrils down, keep them in line, you know. <laughs> the tendrils are very strange. First person shooters, you used First to have to actually shooters, use a mouse and keyboard to be really good to control. Now everyone uses a gamepad. It's a lot slower, less reactionary, but it dumbs down the gameplay to the point down, down where the a wider pad. audience can get good at the game and play it. Uh, auto aim in for FPS. There never used to be auto aim assist in in FPS games. Now there is. Every time you press. Left trigger, half the time it locks onto your target automatically. So all this stuff is how he benefits happening. so much from aim assist. Like, yeah, he's no. the guy they designed it for. <laughs> and 
In some cases, it's sad. In other cases, it's good. Uh, it's all going to be your own personal opinion. Um, my opinion on it is yeah, as what? long as the gameplay is still fun, and as long as, for example, it's not a game that someone was planning to play on a competitive level, then I have no problem with it. But if you're dumbing down a game like Street Fighter or a game like Call of Duty, and these games are meant to be like tournament-worthy games, and you're making the gameplay super simple mode, yeah, that could be kind of frustrating. So it's a double-edged sword. Simple yeah, you're going to sell your game to favorite. more people, and it'll appeal to a wider audience, uh, but at the same time, you lose some quality, some competitive quality of the game. Ah, uh, okay. So, so it's, like no I said, answer. it's a double-edged sword. Thanks for that. Double-edged yeah. sword. Uh, let's let's question, fence it, not answer the uh, question, and Bill, next question. Know, what is yeah. the story behind your meticulously kept goatee? Hmm. Oh, goatee hype. All right. <laughs> you only grew it out around uh, October and November after you started doing this full time. And so did your previous work have something against facial hair? Did you shave to look professional? I just got lazy, job? dude. <laughs> you you just before. quit shaving. Or yeah. did you start to grow a goatee to stop people from pointing out your uncanny resemblance to Barry Wheeler, the agent in Alan Wake? Barry Wheeler. Agent and Alan Wake. I will have to check that out. Barry Wheeler. Yeah, if you'd kindly. Yeah, Barry Wheeler. Alan Wake reference. Big ups. Oh, uh, yeah, I love I my love favorite this. DSP song, Alan Wake. <laughs> <laughs> did they do it to him? Oh, well, they definitely <laughs> did. What the fuck? How is he not more pissed? I bet he doesn't know who this is. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude. Hell yeah. What's up? Yeah, they did it to him. <laughs> got him. He's not wrong, though. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Tips. He's got the they? vest, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got the flower shirts. He's wearing Oh, cat it's the digital shirt. summer party. Yeah, I digital loved it. Digital summer party. Or he's wearing cat shirt. <laughs> this is a great question. I love this question person. I like this face. Take <laughs> 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 of eight, bitch. What's it to you? <laughs> All right. Great question, whoever you are. Let's see what he's going to say here. And that's also from Senor Huevos Benedictos. I didn't even realize I picked two questions from him this time. Oh, both really Senor. Good questions. Shout out. Um, it's so good at questions. Here's the deal. I started growing my goatee when I lost my full-time job back in September uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, since there was no one, you know, I was I, I, when I go to work, obviously I want to look professional. And so me going in like this with a long a beard like this and, and growing in, now if it was just the goatee, nicely trimmed goatee, there wouldn't be a problem. But the problem is... Okay, hold on. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a very small nitpick, but he does the, he does the, um, the emphasis wrong on goatee. Yeah, he, he yeah, says, the goatee. Goatee. <laughs> yeah. He says, <laughs> he says goatee. I think. Growing in now, if it was just the goatee, nicely trimmed goatee, there wouldn't be. Okay, problem. it wasn't the that crazy. Is, the second remember, time. you have to grow it out, and so it was it still very funny. The goatee. Yeah. Yeah. Goatee. Goatee. Uh, there's going to be a couple of weeks. Oh, rest in peace, tea, obviously. Yes, obviously. And I didn't want to do that at my job. Now, since the job. You know, it wasn't a concern anymore, and I was at home all the time. Uh -huh. I started growing it out, and I grew it out because I, I kind of, at the time, just wanted to feel some change in my life. You know, oh my, my whole life I'd always had facial hair is what does it for you, man. Job, ruling jobs, and uh, you can't just say you know, I was like, you know what? Can't this is like more of a freedom thing for me, and independence. It's a freedom to thing. Do what I like and turn it into something God. that's supporting me financially, and I love doing it. And so here's a I symbol of change, and I grew out my beard. And since then, I like it, you know? It is a little frustrating, I'm going to be honest with everyone. Right now, the summer is so hot. I'm, gonna get, I'm working on it, hold on. But it is frustrating. It's very hot, and, you know, it would probably be a lot easier to shave it. But I like oh, it. I like it. I might or might not get rid of it in the future. I guess we'll have to see. Take a sip. Look down the stein. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, where the hell am I? Here we go. Next question, dear DSP, I've noticed that your popularity is growing with your revival of the hateful truth. Oh, wow. At this point, oh, my God. Just suck it off already. Content, yeah. but are kind of bland from a visual standpoint. Do you feel the need to add a professional intro like you have with your other I series? I personally love you fucking ghosts. Can you help me with that? Much appreciated. That's from <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm looking for my two I, hot girls. What did, we hear, what did he say earlier? <laughs> I'm looking yeah, for my every two, guy hot, is two girls. hot girls. Yeah. How do you know when they're coming? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where is Barry going? We got to get Barry in on this stream. Come on, Barry. Jazz down here. You're one of the crew now, Barry. 
Hell yeah. Put it right in the center for all I care. Yeah. Get him in there. <laughs> Get in here, Barry. Baller. We'll fuck around, dude. Barry is a beast. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that my videos are so plain and simple, the hateful truths, that I can immediately, when I'm beating a game now, I can upload it right away. So I like that aspect of it. Um, on the flip side, I completely agree. I, it would be, look a lot nicer, it would be a lot more professional if it had an intro. Now, previously, my old hateful truths from a year and, and further ago had intros, but remember, that was before I was with Machinima, that was before I was making money doing this. Now I can't use any copyrighted music in order to make the intro. Uh, oh yeah, I got strike for his stupid intros copy. today. Yeah. I was laughing my ass off. I think it was worth it, but yeah. yeah. He get, yeah he I hated that. <laughs> straight up like copyrighted songs, yeah. Copyrighted music. So, um, unfortunately, yeah, there's no intro for it right now. Now, I'm not saying people couldn't make an intro. Oh, that whole oh, intro oh. to the weekend preview, that's fan made. I didn't make that. And that's really good. <laughs> you some kind a, soul wants to help out, I wouldn't turn it down. A fan made song from the Mass Defect. They use the fan I can't talk shit. My song was fan made. And it looks amazing. And it's a really good, Zachary Burgett. Way to start the <laughs> what a boy. Videos. If someone would like to work on something like that for the Hateful Truth, I'd love it. But the problem is, I don't have music to use that's. You know, like a fan made song. So you'd have to have a fan who made a song for the hateful. Oh, Second intro, Forget is is cat song into... dude, right? Uh he's Gowdy Road fella. Yeah, he did the cat song. He was in the original King of the Ring with the song his first song that we ever came into the tractor sphere with oh well why don't we fucking play it? We we do a field trip show. Come on. I would say I'm probably familiar with the song, but I'm, yeah. I'm not so, familiar that it's his. As the the Gowdy Road is obviously one we all know and love. But I love Gowdy Road so much. Gowdy Road <laughs> is, intense, is intense. So I'm, I need to do my... I can find it here. Because they're all, it's all unlisted. <clears throat> I don't think he has his uh, channel up there. But yeah, so let me search for it. As we, he can just talk. I'm to a video intro. Anyway. So if anyone would like to take a shot at it, feel <laughs> free. Oh yeah, if anyone wants like to make it, me an it. intro, that'd be uh, sick. I'd appreciate not, it. Thanks. Know, I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, next question. Hey, Phil, have you thought about submitting more videos to Machinima? Perhaps sending part one of all your playthroughs to be featured on Machinima Respawn and adding a small uh, note Uh, no. At the Machinima end. Respawn sucks. Right? We went over this. Don't you time, listen? I didn't. <laughs> adding a small note at the end for people to go to your channel to see the rest and for more content. I think this Don't care. All right, here's Cat Song. Hell yeah. This was the one, during the Kaching of the Ring, it kind of, we weren't in the right mindset for this. This was the very last song, so I also think that where he, like, we got to it mattered. But, like, this song went so far above our heads. Remember, we didn't have the lyrics, and the lyrics really add something to this. Uh, but this is an awesome song. Get out of here, cat. I'll, I'll this would be easy. Every day's the same to me. Like, this just hit us. We were ready for it. This is very much his style, I, yeah. which I, I enjoy. Like, this is pain. Like, this is pain. Awesome. Still handbagging to this. <laughs> Great choice. <laughs> Phil loves this it again. Song does bang. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was just, it was too much. Our brains couldn't handle it at the time. But we learned later of, the, of Zach's incredible potential and the songs they put out since then. Amazing, dude. Zachary Brigitte is a legend. Anyways, back to this question. And he did my intro. So big yeah, ups. so there you go. And obviously, Gowdy Road is in the top five, probably, of all songs ever. Gowdy Road's damn near in my daily rotation. Like, I, I love it. <laughs> I think this would be great. 
great exposure and we'll, we'll earn you many more views. Thanks for answering. Advance. Um, I really don't think Machine was looking for like part one of a playthrough to put up on their ch on their respawn. To be honest, however, I was contacted by the content oh. manager of respawn. He's looking for me to put up fighting game related content on respawn. I think, and this is just a rumor, just but a I rumor. think what's happening is with all the resurgence in fighting games with Street Fighter Four, Mortal Kombat, Marvel Three, the upcoming Street Fighter versus Tekken, the new Soul Calibur coming out. I think that. Machinima is thinking they might open up a new channel, just like they did with Machinima Realm, Machinima Sports, that might be primarily just for fighting games. And so I think they're looking to oh, get more people great. putting fighting game footage on Respawn. Now, I specifically asked, what would you like? Because I had uploaded a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tutorial there, and it really got almost no views, and yeah, it got shoved up. under the rug because they uploaded another Marvel 3 tutorial that oh, covered yeah, we the exact about same stuff that mine did right after mine. I didn't so see returns see after a couple days, and I did it once. Mine. And everyone watched that one and not mine. Um, yep, so I couldn't keep the attention. I've been asked to make videos about Mortal Kombat, and specifically all the DLCs that are coming up with the new characters. So guess what? I'm going to, I'm not this weekend, obviously I'm off, but starting next week, I'm I may welcome. start trying out the new characters such as Scarlet, Kenshi, and then later Everyone on Rain is coming off. out. <laughs> I may play around with them and do like a tutorial video on them, the basics of how to play with them and their combos and such. And put it up, up on Respawn and see how it does. And if it works out, if the, the fighting game channel actually happens, I think that would be a great thing for me because they might make me like some kind of a feature there. And so when I do stuff, like for example, I did in the lab with uh, all the characters from... Uh... Shall we see the video he just mentioned he was going to do? Let's watch a little bit. Hell yeah. What's going on, everyone? Uh, DSP on. here with the first in a series of... I couldn't of, make this anymore, dude. Uh, information oh, God, no. Some DLCs from World Combat, and this one is the first DLC character, Scarlet. What I'd like to do is oh, run no, you this through is, Oh, this is beyond quick. disgusting. Remember the, uh, the, the girl from um, Tekken that was just not even cleavage, just like had boobs existing? And Phil said, that's disgusting. That was his comment. This has got to be, oh, oh my is god. Is that the one with the chainsaw uh, arms? Uh, yeah, that well, one? He not, hates that one. Yeah, go, go, tutorial yeah. of her moves, their properties, what they do. And then some cool combos that I found out with her. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually go ahead and make my super meter on full so I can show you every single move, okay? So she's got a couple. First of all, she's got a standard projectile, which is a quarter circle forward plus square. Now, if you hold down... But the comments are, are, are very funny. The comments... Some of the comments are... Uh, DSP, the walking excuse. That was good. The red lady. Uh, poof, like, your laugh is so amazing. Oh my god, get help. Get help. I was, I was just talking the other day with a, a friend of mine, talking about if DSP was actually a likable character, he might have uh, been endearing with his terrible ack, ack, ack laugh, uh -huh. and people would have known him for that, and it would have been, like, like I said, endearing. Um, but because he sucks, it's just something to ridicule. Oh, oh, oh. Just good information on Scarlet, but there are a few notes you missed. Her second part of the knife throw. So, I mean, as usual, his, his tutorials have leave something to be desired. I want to see if he plays anybody, just fucking lab. Combo. And this is it. Oh, no, we're labbing. This, this is a lab video. Fuck lab. I don't want to see lab. Uh, I didn't, I would fire never fire. lab. You can't yeah. make me that lab. Got over there. <laughs> so, like, lab. I'm going we'll straight happens, online. But, I'll figure it out or I'll uh, suck. Yeah, I'm excited about this it. is yeah, the way it's got to be. Who needs research? Get the fuck out of here. To be uploading some stuff to respawn. No script, no lab, lab, buddy. We do it yeah, wrong. Raw. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. You get the best response like that. Just like... Just like Phil in a staycation with Leanna. We're watching Raw, dude. We always go Raw. <laughs> you can't always leave forget raw. the Raw. Dude watched Raw on a staycation with his girlfriend. <laughs> watched Raw. I, I, spoilers, ALT. I didn't get to see it yet. Yeah. I was catching up on the last one. I haven't, I haven't been having time. Great staycation. Get home. <laughs> make sure you got Raw on. <laughs> hey, DSP. I want... Like, you know your girl is like, can you just take wrestling off for vacation? Maybe, you know? Like... I know you like wrestling, but just think a little bit, you know. Just take one day off, you know. <laughs> no, honey, he's coming down from the rafters. I have to see it. Yes. <laughs> Watched your whatever happened to HD remix video. If you haven't seen it, it's over on DSP Street Fighter, and it talks about what happened with Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD remix and why it kind of has vanished from the tournament scene right now. Um, and I automatically thought of the upcoming Third Strike port to console. I don't know if you saw the interview, but the guy that's porting it said that the perfect port from arcade to console 
is what they've used. Nothing has been changed except for the art, but the art can actually be changed back to the original art if you want to. And it's using GGPO for the netcode. And I oh, yes! GGPO mm. was developed by the Cannon Brothers. Let's see how we get on this We're getting question. a full rant. <laughs> the original art if you want to. And it's using GGPO for the netcode. And I want to know if you agree with it not being touched or tweet and, uh, in this port. And yes. also if using GGPO yes. as the netcode will make it a good game. And that's from M4. Oh, yeah, we're oh, 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 this is what we're waiting for, boys. Unless he fucks his way out of this, like making a joke or something. This has potential. Let's go. Oh. First of all, how can I shit on this? It's a debacle. It really is because the reason that there's all this. It's, it's a debacle. A debacle. The Jesus. first sentence was it's a debacle. It's a debacle. He was literally looking for the perfect way to say that it's it's not good. It's like, a debacle. And just, you know, th 13 years in hindsight, 13 years in hindsight, that fucking the thing they developed is getting used in the most mainstream of mainstream fighting games. In the universe, Street Fighter Six is using it. You know what I'm saying? What other proof do you need that they got it right? I'm not saying there's not the. I mean, but 13 years later, yeah. they're still using yes. it. Like it's not like it's in this independent games use it. Fucking Street Fighter Six is using it. So all, it's a debacle. It really is because the reason <laughs> that there's a all this debate about HD remakes is because the game was remixed by David Serlin, who was a pro Super Turbo player, oh, big up. played arcade Super Hell Turbo, yeah. and was very good at it, and had won tournaments, placed in tournaments, and so they put him in charge of this project to rebalance the game for a HD remix, which came out in 2008, and when it came out, pretty much all the hardcore Super Turbo players who have played arcade ST for years and years says, we don't like this game, he seems to have made silly changes that don't make sense, mm -hmm. and I don't understand this, um, and because of that, over the next course of the next couple of years, a lot of the hardcore ST players continued to play it, but they complained a lot, and now the game has officially been taken out of EVO, and it's actually completely out of the EVO tournament circuit. It's No one really plays the game that much anymore. Uh -huh. um, and so the Nobody plays is, the game because it's not at well, EVO. Got a lot of people it. Yeah. blame all the, the, the problems with the game on the changes, that the changes weren't liked by the hardcore Super Turbo community, so therefore the yeah, Super Turbo community... Yeah, Nino has it right. It's old. I mean, it just got too old. <laughs> the game, and the game failed, ultimately. Um, yeah, eventually everything's going to go out of rotation. It's just always just going to go. Do I think it is a good thing that it's going to be identical to arcade? Yeah, I do. I think it is. Yeah, because yeah. Now what? There won't be a strike. Do I think it is a good oh, thing? Oh, hold on. Holy shit. All right, first we got the dig. All right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. movie sign. You're a legend. Let's get the dig. Okay. We, yeah, this is a great for a pick analysis. Let's see what the har we got in the harvest. And then what are we going to do with it? Now's the question time. Do we roll it up? Do we put it in the pants on the side of the chair? Do we eat I love it? the roll. I yeah. hope I hope it's roll. Yo, eating it is the creme de la creme though, yeah, yeah, but it, it's a rarity. One. You get to eat. He's trying to he's trying to catch the he rarity. He smacked of his it. Yeah. Oh, pants. That PJ pants. They go right to the PJ pants. P oh, no. Oh. Ooh, this is it up. Yeah, <laughs> it could be the throw up. Was it a quick wipe and then then hands up? Or was it the, uh, oh, I got to throw this, throw it up, ceiling style. That's tough. The flick. See, that's a big flick. And, like, what what I was rewinding for initially was he does a random hand thing when it's not a normal place to do a hand thing. Identical right? to arcade? Yeah, I do. I think it is because now. <laughs> like, is, do you do that for yeah? Yeah. Hands up. Yeah. I think you throw your hands up. <laughs> I'm not particularly. Yeah. That, I think that was Especially just... when it's not even, like, an exasperated, like, yeah. It's no. like, you know, just a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Third strike. Do I think it is a good thing that it's going to yeah. be identical to arcade? Yeah, I yeah. do. I think it is because now it's going to be bitching. It's going to be no you know, plain vanilla third strike that everyone enjoyed. And it's, you know, it's going to be that classic gameplay, and it's probably going to sell pretty Ooh. well. Lip. Now, he's also Lip. asking me about GGPO netcode. I can uh -oh. tell you right now. GGPO netcode is extremely similar to the netcode that they used for HD Remix. In fact, HD Remix's netcode kind of stole some of the ideas that it used from GGPO. Oh. And I really think it's not going to be very good. I think it's going to be <laughs> uh, of course just as bad as every other fighting game that's ever come out. Yeah. It's going to have rollback. It's just like HD <gasps> Remix had. If you remember, in HD roll Remix, back. you would jump into a combo, then all of a sudden the game would roll it back, literally rewind, which has happened, uh -huh. and show that you got hit instead. And you'd be uh, like, it's rewind what the time. fuck is that? Yeah. I just did a combo on screen, and now all of a sudden I lost health. It makes no that no no this he has so little understanding of rollback he just 
what? I lost health. It doesn't re. It does. It's not like a VHS. You rewind. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's not literally a rewind. No, no, no. But I love Pause that he. That. <laughs> been around for so long that, and he still doesn't understand that it's it's that's not it at all maybe if he would have watched that video instead of talking over it in the first five seconds and then skipping he'd know that but yeah yeah i knew that yeah 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 dude if he says roll the dice please i hope we get oh the God. roll the dice come on please say dice oh literally rewind what just happened and show that you got hit instead and you'd be like what the fuck is that what i just did a combo fuck? on screen and now all of a sudden i lost health it makes no sense um, Literally rolling the dice. So yeah, it's gonna have right. that kind of netcode. Uh, I really don't like that. I don't like what? any of the netcode for any fighting games, and I've said it many times before. I think it's the infrastructure in the United States is not in place to have competitive fighting games online. Uh -huh. It's just not good enough right now. It yeah. can't support the speed. Get on that. <laughs> Get I on was that. just about to say, like, so what? what's his solution then? Like, he just wants all fighting games online to not be taken, like, seriously or have anybody playing on them because he thinks the entire infrastructure of the internet in the U.S. is bad? Like, yeah. is that the thing? And he says, uh, we're going to get the whole Japan has the best infrastructure of all time, by the way, talks about oh, here. But yeah, so I that's the thing. About that. He doesn't understand anything about how it works. And it, but remember, he complains when he's live too, guys, right? So in when he played live on cabinets with people, he would still complain endlessly. So this just added on to his pile of possible excuses. It, it's not about the internet. We There's just always another excuse. We can always find another excuse, you know? It's just, <laughs> this is just a big one because it's easy to say. Like, obviously playing on the internet is worse than playing live. So he just takes that to the fucking a millionth degree where it's like, oh my god. Okay, of course we have NECA. Of course, all fighting games NECA sucks, dude. Nah, well, there's various levels of that, you know? And everyone else in the fucking universe that likes fighting games deals with it. You know what I'm saying? So. That's all you can do. That's what I'm. That's why I'm. I'm so baffled by this because like the only other option is literally don't play fighting games online, which uh -huh. obviously limits playing fighting games to a sm such a small minority of people now. Because how many people are you really going to get over to your house to play a fighting game IRL at this yeah. point? Like zero people. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Speed of the reactions that are needed in order for a fighting game to be played online properly. That's just my feeling. That's just my feeling. All right, next question. Um, let's see. Oh, now that we're halfway through 2011 and if you've played a shitload of games, what are your top five games that you've played so far this year? That's from Rick1128. And I actually wrote them down. I would say, oh, out of all the games I've played so far this year... <laughs> you wrote it on a piece of paper. I gotta take notes here. Hold on. These are my five personal Well, CALT, he's old. He does something nobody else does. <laughs> he he writes things on paper. Of, he got a piece of paper. <laughs> Oh, this looks kind of fun. I was trying to find like the his like a take on that, but Ludo put out a video five months ago about uh, Super uh, Street Fighter. What is it? Street Street Fighter Two HD Remake. So let's check out that a second. All right, I just wanted to uh, make this short and sweet, but oh so sweet because as you can see, after about a day of effort, I am number one in uh, Super <laughs> Street Fighter Two Turbo HD Remix on Xbox Live. Yeah. Please clap. So. <laughs> But just wanted to show you, but as you can also see, if you look closely, I'm only in the lead by one point. And at this point, when I beat people, I only get one point for the victory because I'm actually in first place. <laughs> but anyway, what does this mean? Well, this fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Nothing. Yes! Combo! Blanca and Justin Wong. That's the first time that's ever happened. Big ass movie sign. Massive bombs going off here. Thank you, my friend. You're a legend. This means that I'll actually have time today to uh, play Fallout 3. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my own grenades are Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, hold on. I gotta see that one again. Dude, my own grenades are fucking. Oh, he died from that one. Watch this one right here. Okay, look at this. Look at He's this. He's standing on a landmine. That's what's happening here. <laughs> so fucking retarded. Wow. Which I meant to be yesterday, but I kind of got. Holy shit! So fucking retarded. Wow. Yeah. Which I meant to do yesterday, but I kind of got distracted with the holiday and also with this game because I love Street Fighter. So, uh, <laughs> that's it. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I'm still number one. Hopefully, I'm still number one. Oh, nice. Mr. Merchant Music. But, uh, another match. Oh, cool. right, we're done. We can't do this all day. Let's uh, do one more. Let's one, one fight. One fight. fight. If, if Ludwig put it in the video, 
It must be there for a reason. Here's the video, by the way, if you want to watch this. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, where's my super? Right there, man. <laughs> yep. Oh. That's the squeaky chair. All right, I'll play him for real now. Oh, I'll play for real now, okay. I, I was like messing it. around earlier. Came with Super, I like on. it. Every time I have a chance, it doesn't come out. Oh, what? Oh, Let's see this yes. Oh, nice miss. Yes. Wrecked. <laughs> he gets a throw instead of me. That makes sense. Uh, All right, good to me. Around. Uh, I'm fucking baloney. around. Why is, look at that. His jab fireball is so slow. Everyone else has faster ones. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to get. Master, why? Because you will do it all the time. <laughs> yep. Wow. So go ahead. Jesus. Go ahead. Yep, no, nice. you're the bitch because nice you don't pull. play a fucking fighting game, you stupid oh. cocksucker. You fucking walk back and shoot bullets. You're a fucking idiot. I'm an idiot. Right, one more, one more. This last one. Wow. Jab, headbutt, absorbs fireball. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, he's absolutely getting Phil, dunked on. Phil's on the right. Man. I can't I get out of there. Wow. He's so DJing. That means if, as long as he has a charge, I can't throw. As as he has a charge, I can't throw a fireball at him. It's just jab fucking headbutt. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. Okay. Fight. Nice. <laughs> all right, we'll stop. Go watch that video. It looks very entertaining. We can't just sit here all day watching it, but that was that was good. <laughs> All right, back to uh, back to the oh yeah. By the way, this is the five top games of the year, I think. And he got a piece of paper to write this down. Okay. Two, Portal Two, L.A. Noire, Shadows of the Damned, and if I were a Duke Nukem fanboy, and I'm giving you my fanboy opinion, Duke Nukem Forever. If I'm being completely objective and honest, I would stick The Witcher Two in there, even with all his control problems. The Witcher 2 was still ESP a really is the game, only person still... I've ever heard say that Duke Nukem would go in their game of the year list. If I was a fanboy. So, what? <laughs> if I was a fanboy, right. it would be Duke Thank Nukem for Forever, which again, no one else that. on Earth thought. But if I wasn't, it would be Witcher 2. Okay, that's, that's certainly one way to say your favorite thing. Still very enjoyable, graphically beautiful, the story was great. All that was great. If the gameplay had been not as silly, difficult, and partially broken as it was, <laughs> the game would have been a much better game, but I still really enjoyed the game. So those are my five picks. Five picks, dude. Okay, next question. Snort. Hype. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We're going into Oh, Carl Weathers. Now. Shout out to Carl Weathers. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. His first hey, his car got peace. pulled. Rest in peace. You better take a sip for that one, everybody. Here's some questions from Twitter. Let's finish the first my drink. From Shady Sands, and he says, <laughs> Have you ever seen the Street Fighter movie? What do you think of it? Uh, much heterosexual love from England. Of course I've seen the Street Fighter movie. All right. Uh, well, that's, I think he's... I, I, Okay, just pick let's uh pick a narrative he's going to go with. And I would say like if you take it for a silly movie, it's great. We're going to get something like that is my guess. That, that's exactly what I was expecting cuz like <laughs> I know he quotes it all the time with that <laughs> stupid quote he did on the side scrollers. He just did it the other day like uh you know, this is the greatest day. You know, I'm Bicycle came to your village, greatest day of your life or yeah. whatever. For me yep. it was Tuesday. Like he does that all the time. I, I think that narrative is exactly what he's going to do say. Um <laughs> Movie. Everyone has it. It's hilarious. It has Sean Claude Van Damme acting horribly, uh, you know, as he always does in all of his movies. Ooh. Uh, barely speaking any English. Ooh. That's in in intelligible. Is it? Is it that bad? Uh, taking bad. all the characters from Street I've Fighter seen and pretty much okay. making them ridiculous parodies of themselves. But no it's, lies. it's hilarious. It's a B movie. It wasn't made. I don't. I, I hope it wasn't made to be a serious movie that they thought was going to continue as a franchise because it sucked ass. But oh. the game, the, the movie is absolutely hilarious. Now, so they it... tried to make a serious movie recently with the the Legend of Chun Li or whatever the hell that was, and that movie fucking sucked monkey ass. That movie. Yeah, but that had Kristen Krug, dude. So I was in for that one, honestly. Can we watch trailers or we get? I, I think you can watch trailers, right? Oh, I have no idea. Can you? I mean, I don't care. But this had Kristen Krug, dude. I was all in. All in. Kristen Krug was my top back in the day. Top. I don't even know who that is, so oh, I guess know. I'll you're find out. To, you're about to learn. Life. About to learn me some. <laughs> That's the... Get fast forward to the parts that he's fighting. Of a master.
Once you have found Legend your of Chun Li, 2009. You must decide what you fight for. Fast forwarding until we get to that. I don't even see Rain. Okay, they barely even showed her. Okay. You will not stop me. Okay, they barely even showed her. So dude, that's the lady right there at the end. Or? Google search later, you'll find it. Blue, because that was right. Oh, the movie was bad though. Absolutely, the movie sucked. But Kristen Krug, I was all in. I don't care. What the hell that was, and that movie fucking sucked monkey ass. Whoa. That movie blue, because I was trying to take us uh, the Street Fighter lore and convert it to a mainstream movie, and it was horrible. So I actually think the original Street Fighter movie was better than the new one. Hell yeah. Next question is from the Clincher Thirteen, and he says, Phil. Are you going to do the Infamous 2 bad ending? Well, I've already said this, but I'm planning on doing another run through of Infamous 2, doing everything bad, meaning hurting people, doing all the negative decisions, and getting unlocking those powers, and hopefully that'll be coming up in July or August during some of this downtime. Um, next question is from Goat Perv, and he says, Are you ready Goat to perv. see that the, the PlayStation 3 and 360 be replaced? Shoutouts to Goat Perv. <laughs> just don't want to go over that one too fast. We have Goat Perv. By newer consoles, or should the current consoles continue on for another two to three years? Personally, I think the current consoles could continue on for another two to three oh, years. God. It's just that some games, like Battlefield 3, are pushing the graphical envelope, and Ooh. other games like Duke Nukem Forever just aren't meant to be on console, um, and it looked oh. like shit on it. Pushing um, the graphical envelope. So, yeah, envelope. I don't know. Right. I, Never heard fence, that. But, I would uh, love to okay. see a new slew of consoles that could do all these new graphics and everything, at the same time, a lot of these games aren't really implementing anything that's too groundbreaking or so, such an advancement of graphics. Hell, half the games still use the Unreal Engine. So, do we really need a new slew of consoles right now? I'm not so sure. I'm on the fence. Uh, uh, as usual. usual. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. <It's> fucking usual. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm on the fence. Okay. Ask me a bunch of questions so I can not give you an answer. How about that? Guitar Freak 8787, maybe. Fucking and idiot. He says, Last year, you absolutely hated Modern Warfare 2's map packs, and yeah. now that you've played uh, three of the map packs for Black Ops, how do you feel that they compare? Um, first of all, I still think they're insanely overpriced. They don't deserve to be as expensive as they are. I, I still am of the same opinion there. But, at least, with the Black Ops map packs, not only are you getting, say, four multiplayer maps for the game, but you're getting oh. a cool zombie... I, this is not normal, as most things Not are. only are you getting, say, four multiplayer maps. Is I pick? Yeah, look how, look how much he exposes his. Look at that. <laughs> Who's going? You don't, in? you don't like, pull your oh, eyelid down oh so you god. can scrape inside. Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look how much. Look how much red you can see. I, I can see a massive amount of eyeball. And that's that's his camera from 2011. Imagine yeah. if it was a modern day camera, you'd be seeing all up in it. I'm yeah, I'm just trying to like imagine what it takes to do that. Like I might itch my eye. Okay, you might pull a little bit, but I don't bring my next finger over to dig in the hole. That's what he does. He pulls. You gotta and get digs. a good scrape in. It yeah. keeps your eyes clean. Yeah. But you're getting a cool oh, zombie God. survival map that they really put a lot of effort into. I mean. One of them actually Yo, you know when I do that though? Yeah, you know right. when I do that? When I drink too much and I start to lose feeling in my face, I often I often touch my face that hard and start like pulling. It's oh, a weird thing. To test so, it? You're kind of testing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where I start to like feel my face. I go, oh boy, we're there, aren't we? And then, you know, we move on with our day. Yeah. <laughs> nice. it's that's, that's, yeah. In it, which is pretty crazy, horror celebrities. Ooh. Other ones have really neat Easter eggs. In it, which is pretty crazy, horror celebrities. Oh, horror celebrities. I thought you said horror celebrities. I was like, whoa, horror celebrities. My who favorite kind. Yeah. That's how you know when they're coming, when they're horror celebrities. Who's that? One of them actually had real actors in it, which is pretty crazy, horror celebrities. Uh, horror celebrities. Other ones have really neat Easter eggs. There's a lot of stuff to do and find out in those maps. Whoa. And it really does add a lot more quality to the map pack. So I think that still it's not worth the amount of money they're charging you for it, but it's a better value, definitely a better value than what they were giving you last year with the Modern Warfare 2 map packs, okay? All right. Okay. And then finally, from Fidob, his question is, what has been the most disappointing game for you so far this year? And I have two answers for this. 2011? Count what the, the fingers. hell even came out? Count the fingers. Oh. <laughs> I 
I know, yeah. The thumb is working here, but still. For you so far Got this the fingers year, here. And I have two answers for you. <laughs> The first answer is it's because he didn't look and verify. That's yeah. that's why he always looks. Yep. <laughs> hey, Reach is someone's prediction? Let's see. Uh, uh, Weston Evans, Thin Ice Bud, you know how I feel. Don't do that to me. Hey, Reach, get him out of here. <laughs> My favorite Halo game is the slander. Get him out of here. Here we go. I have two answers. For two this. answers again. The first answer is if you're talking fighting game wise, because I am a fighting game buff, by far. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a huge disappointment. Ooh. It was great on day one, then on day two everyone realized that every fucking character has a retardedly long combo that does ridiculous fucking damage. There's uh. glitches in the game that allow you to do DHCs that don't scale the damage properly. Uh -oh. So the bottom line is the game, oh, within hey. just a couple months of release, has turned Only into three a combo now. video. The entire game is a combo video. We're low on and bottom lines today. If I want to watch a combo video, I'll go watch a fucking combo video. Marvel 2, yeah, <laughs> there were a lot of crazy combos, but it wasn't always about just landing the 7 billion hit fucking combo that kills your character 100% okay. of the, the point. time. What's the other that's game? really what Marvel Was it not? Because every time Oops, I, I mean, see Marvel vs. Capcom footage, that's exactly what it is. my entire character, what the fuck. And it's sad. It's sad because the game had a lot of potential. I really do think they screwed it up. Uh, and X Factor as well, I believe, is way too overpowered. It's just way too easy to have characters like Dark Phoenix or Sentinel who get the X Factor and all of a sudden, amazing comeback victory because it's way, <laughs> way too powerful. Good. So, all right, before he gets to his next game, let's watch this video. It's very funny and short. It's on 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 theme. Marvelous Cap. This is when DSP played Maximilian Dude on the very game he's shitting on right here. So how what could go wrong? Video, uh, going over the basic infrastructure, how the game feels online, and stuff like that. So I wanted to give you guys some full blown out uh, online rankings. Oh, this games. is why, this is why. Notice how that's how you do a tutorial video. Very calm video, explain all the fucking details. <laughs> I <laughs> didn't even know like... this. Max, a million, if this is me. Oh, you can't see because my camera's blocking? Look at this. Look this at is that. me against Max a million. Me! <laughs> from over a decade ago in the Marvel vs. Capcom online rank matches and beginner's tips video he put out on his channel. But the funny, again, the funny part about this is when he filmed these matches, this wasn't something we arranged. Yeah. I knew who he was as a YouTuber. This was not something we had arranged at all. So who cares? One night. Yeah, why would you? I was good. just relaxing. I, you know, I had done content of this game before. By the way, I can put my camera back now. I made content of this Thanks game. I made some us. online yeah. matches and everything during the. Hang on, by the way, I'm gonna push play on the video now. During you know daytime, <laughs> and one night, you know, I really like this game. I grew up playing it in the '90s. It's actually one of the games I most highly ranked at in tournament play. Whoa! And I played it at night as well. And I would get drunk, and drinking. Remember back then, over yeah, a decade true. ago, I told you I used to drink a ton of Roman Coke and shit. So I would sit around being drunk at night. <laughs> this is this is ten years. It's probably about eleven years ago, roughly. So you figure this is like 2012 ish. I would sit around drinking rum and coke at night. Hell yeah. Because I was in a stream where I didn't have a streaming schedule. So I could just do whatever I kind of wanted at night. I got And wasted. I would play this game online. And a lot of the times it was, you know, I would lose a ton of ranking because I'm playing late at night. I'm drunk. But I don't care. I didn't care about that shit back then. Uh -huh. But one night I ran into him and we ended up doing a really big set of the game. Apparently Carl he Weathers, recorded. Rest in peace, brother. There he is oh, again. another one. Big Coming ups. out again. There you the go. The set and put it into this video. Which I never even knew. I knew that he had recorded it. I guess people had said they'd seen it. I didn't know he made a video of this. So, um... And Phil, that's right. I really have not drank like this for anything in a long time. I'm going to be pacing myself so I don't get piss drunk. But I am going to be doing a lot of drinking today. I want to piss Getting on the into, floor like Blade. Before we get into some of these ranked <laughs> games, I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit of tips as far as Marvel vs. Capcom. So he used our footage as a, as a way to explain the game. The game. And, uh, hopefully That's the long and short of it, brother. Hopefully it'll help you out, but I want to give you a little bit of my personal history and why this game, I think, Thanks for clearing that up. is uh, important to me. So, early when I was growing up, I was about like 12, 13, maybe 14 years old, and uh, the, the video big arcade skipped, game that uh, everyone played was Marvel vs. Capcom yeah, 1. Like, this is like everybody did. played this game. He's much younger than me, then, because lines. when this game was popular, I was already like 18, graduating high school. Is that her? So. Around it. He's like, um, he's much younger than me. When I was <laughs> growing up, I didn't have much like time to. Yet another thing, he does better than you, <laughs> even age. Been in the arcades because I lived up in the freaking mountains of California, and I cherished every moment I had to spend in arcades as a kid. And any little money that I saved up, I essentially went to the arcade and spent it learning how to play with an arcade stick. Uh, this was back. You can when see, I couldn't even do anything. I played everything. Fighting games. Oh my <laughs> dude! 
actually 10 years later he's still bitching about lag that he thinks that he might have experienced Dude, shut this, the hell up this is the longest time lag lag excuse in history of the internet it has to be 10 years 10 years <laughs> He's finding excuses 10 years later. <laughs> and any little money that I saved up, I essentially went to the arcade and spent it learning how to play with an arcade stick. Uh, this was back You can see I couldn't even do anything. I played everything for fighting games. You could tell. Major <laughs> you could tell. You could tell. <laughs> you could tell. Oh, clearly. <laughs> oh, clearly that was lag. I saw it too. Definitely. But I walked uh, for forward the majority at home and... But oh my God. Dude, they got so <laughs> laggy. <laughs> I was just used to playing with the PlayStation and controller. Black. And learning did, how to play he, did he say I didn't block? Did he say I couldn't block? You can't say I couldn't block 13 years later. They got so laggy. Let me hear it. I was just used to playing with the PlayStation couldn't controller. Block. Yes! Oh my god! Yes, I really thought there was to. no way he really said that. <laughs> he said I couldn't block 13 years later. How do you- how would he know? Yeah. How would you know that you couldn't block? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Mortem. I think it's when he sees his gameplay, fighting gameplay, he ha like excuses just come out, whether he's playing he, or dude, not. He Pavloved himself <laughs> into seeing his gameplay immediately. These are rapid fire. It doesn't even matter what's going on on screen. He just he just, they just come out. Good block. <laughs> it's, a, it's an instinct. And dude, it got so laggy. Got to hear it again. I was just used to playing with the PlayStation Couldn't controller. <laughs> And learning how to play with an arcade stick is very rough. Uh, that is where I Good learned luck. how to use an arcade stick properly and how to do. All right. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, all right. We got the point here. You know, he's trying to keep talking or whatever, kicking his ass. By the way, in the background. Very rough. Uh, that is where I learned how to use an arcade stick properly and how to do. All right. All he's gonna do is talk about his background. So I guess this is interesting because he used our footage of matches. Notice right. the health bars. I bet that has something to do with it too. <laughs> All he's gonna do is tell his life story. There's, uh, you know, a uh, whole chunk of the video left, and it's titled Online Ranked Matches and Beginner Tips. I don't think that's all he's gonna do, bud. Nope. I don't I, think so. I think we're so petty, we can't see what the moment he loses, right? I think that's why we got the pause. Oh, yeah, because he's got one pixel of health <laughs> yeah. or whatever left. Well, you know, he's just gonna say the same stuff here. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, he's so buttered. Moving on. <laughs> right? playing here it's funny because i know exactly what i would do in the situation i was playing today and i'm like so why didn't it happen there i didn't push block i didn't try to throw oh my god anyway all right so yeah you can uh you didn't, you can watch he didn't that if you try want. he didn't try i thought though, it was yeah. lag dude if i wasn't drunk i would have been able to win he's insinuating so this video is our footage i didn't i didn't record this this was me at night relaxing we got just that playing point. random matches drunk we got that point and that's why you, you I wasn't in gamer position channel, dude this my, match my didn't count meant to be competitive content was already uploaded of this game so all right we got time for like one or two more yep nope Hope about it some more dude like <laughs> what do you be, what did you want like everybody's gonna like you decided to play online that's what you yeah, get he just he can't it, i thought he might push play after this but fuck no we were not wrong he does not want to see that loss come up <laughs> meant to be meant to be good babe. perfect oh look what i can do online <laughs> there we go <laughs> In my opinion, fighting game wise, that's the most disappointing okay, game. I think it had a lot of potential and they squandered it by making it too much of a combo friendly game for the masses rather than making it a competitive game, uh, which it really uh, isn't. Uh, they simplified okay. it for morons. Uh, uh. In addition, if you want to talk about overall, of all the games that I played this. <laughs> hey! In addition, if you want to talk about overall, hey, of all the oh. games that I played this year that I thought had a lot of potential <laughs> and really fell flat, Brink. Brink, I thought, was Brink. going to be really good. I thought it was going to change Brink. a lot about uh, it. It's an FPS game instead, with, like, game, some parkour-style elements maps. or something. Uh, pretty much no reason to play the game over once you've beaten that all the That was a whole debacle, too, twice. because people were giving him shit in the comments for playing it. And he was like, quit being in my comments. Tell me you don't want to see me play Brink. If, if I see that, you're going to get banned. <laughs> Shut the hell up. It was all, it was all thing. Oh. Look at this look. Catch this drip. Evil dick. Yeah. E uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hitter with the evil dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a king of Oh, yeah, this is that beautiful fan name. Oh, come on. This is low effort. Important channel updates. 
It's low effort, but it's more effort than he can do now. Yeah. So I have to appreciate it at least a little bit. What's going on, everyone? Oh, yeah. great, great lighting. Okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, great lighting. I can see exactly what's going on here. I figured I would give you a change of scenery and show oh. you how the... Uh, New artwork that I got at too many games is kind of hanging over Why my sofa. Why don't you flip the light so switch, brother? The odd camera angle. I know the electricity isn't that expensive. But, um, a couple things I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, it's like literally dark. About today. Uh, yeah, first he's of all, only got window lighting. Like he's in the condo. <laughs> on that, the windows are on that side. Can we just turn on a light at least? Come on. I want to talk a little bit about Brink because yeah, Brink it was a highly anticipated game, and, and I think a lot of people were looking forward to it. Uh, it was hyped pretty much in the gaming media. There's ads on TV, and you know, you rarely see video game ads on TV unless it's like a triple A companies to give high scores to games like Halo, and uh, <clears throat> they don't give legit reviews to a lot of these games that aren't some of the most hyped games coming up, and that really is disheartening because they're supposed to be a major media outlet, and instead they've just fucking lied to the public That's about. Too boring. And. Uh, just ridiculous. No single player campaign. The single player campaign is exactly the same as this 12 maps of multiplayer. All right. Thank How you did for you think that that was enough value that. to sell a $60 game? I have no clue. Yeah, I love the graphical style is weird. I don't get the, the, the graphical design. I think it's really <laughs> ugly. And I just think and overall it's disappointment. They could have done a lot better. It's not a horrible game by far, but it's just Rainbow, not very good. Cool. It's, it's, oh, it's really interesting the first time you play it through, and then you get bored and you say, well, I'm done. What am I'm I supposed done. to do with this game now? So great. Definitely one of the most disappointing games of the year for me so far. All, All right, right, so that's it for this so. edition of Ask the King. Again, I'm not sure if I'll do another one in two weeks or a month. I'll let you know as we approach. We would do another but, one in a month, and we'll watch that next week. <laughs> but be sure to watch the video I'm uh, right. coming up next. It's all about that law that is currently just a bill in Congress, and it has potential oh, to hippo, really hippo, fuck hippo, up a lot yeah. of stuff that yeah. people do on the Internet, even though they don't mean that that's LT, what we getting that iceberg. Bill, yeah, that's what yeah, it will do because too. the bill is far too broad, okay? <laughs> So check it out. It's coming up later. I but seen anyway, some people for watching, uh, earlier ask asking for the later. copyright iceberg. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, copyright be good. There's a lot of good options. There's endless options, you know. And but I, I think that's more interesting than Hippa Pippa. <laughs> yeah, so. Hippa Pippa is kind of boring on my end. I got DMCA shit talks about. It's like it's like whatever. I'm interested. In, I kind of talk myself into this idea of I want to go through the history of all the rewards that he's had on his stream for various reasons. So, of course, you know, we're talking bubbles, vests, glasses. We all know those, but lures. Skittle, hello, lures. Skittles, mm. lures, chair spins, hats, of course. Like, I want to see when that became things, right? Because now they're just, you know, the, it wasn't always glasses. So I want to hear that first time he says, like, let's go. Now we're going to, guys, I got something great. It's glasses. Like, I don't remember that. Do you? I definitely don't. Like it just always yeah, I don't know where the glasses came from. Yeah, but I I'm seeing things in chat. Pote name the name the stuffed animals in the back. I remember yeah. that was years ago. Uh -huh. There's um, a lot of stuff. So. Push ups, shots. Those are classics. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try to cover all those if I can on Thursday. But uh, we should be fun. There's so many options. But nonetheless, I'm not even gonna ask. You guys know what Atlas does. Videos all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a special stream tomorrow. Oh, okay. please. Come on. Hit Sunday style. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm doing the react. Uh, we're doing the, the pre cum piss cast and we're doing the uh, we're doing the react all day. Oh, sick. Sunday all style. Right. So me, I'll tell King. I'll, I'll be on King Jad for the bingo and we'll be sure to redirect you there. All right. Come on. So it's all a big party tomorrow, my friends. There's Atlas's channel. Tomorrow's going to be hype. Well, we'll see. You, you're doing the react sometimes. They are very tough. They are very I've got tough. a co-host. There's no way I'd do it by myself. That yeah. was my first ever uh, stream. I did, a, I did a react by myself and was miserable by the end. So <laughs> Yeah, that's a smart move. All right, but yeah, they, I put the Atlas's channel link in there. Go follow if you're not. All legends. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.
much for the engagement today. I appreciate it. That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie.